du 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 How's it going, chat? If YouTube's new guidelines are that you can't swear within the first 15 seconds of a video, like you can't have a, like a, like a hard swear word, like the, like the F word, or maybe even the S word, you, you could probably say like damn or hell, you know? But if you can't say, like, the F word, but you just don't say anything for 15 seconds, and then you say it, isn't that just the same thing? Rules are weird. Damn and hell are no longer to be considered profanity. Tell that to YouTube. I'm so sorry I have to go through this, my condolences. It's like, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal. It's like, it's, you know, it's whatever. It's like... But, uh, it is a bit annoying. Maybe it's a compromise because advertisers at least didn't want swear words as the first impression that for people briefly glancing at videos. Mm, maybe, but usually the ad plays before the video starts, right? That's my experience watching stuff on my phone. And also, usually, like, I, f I feel like advertisers need to catch up to the fact that you're not, you're not advertising on someone's platform. You're advertising to the person that the account is tied to, that the algorithm is tracking and knows their tastes. Like, no matter what, no matter what I click on, I shouldn't get ads that's like, oh, you know, like, Mandalore's audience has been known to react to these kind of, kind of ads. Like, that's, that makes sense, but that's really antiquated. Like, we don't even need to do that anymore because Google knows who's watching and knows what they want. Weird to hear your voice at normal speed. Normally never catch the streams live. Yeah, I listen to myself back at times two speed whenever I watch clips or streams too. But I can't talk that fast. And um, I've had a lot of complaints in the past that I speak too quickly. So I try and talk a little slower than I would normally do. Is there going to be Sudoku time today? No. All right, so I've got my link, my link out. Remember when I used to like blast Twitter every single time? Uh, I got the Square Enix thing set up, but I don't know if it's working. We're gonna have to find out. There's a little Square Enix overlay tab thing, and if I click on it, it says, Add to my channel. Let your viewers vote on every major choice in the game live. Alright, so, um, I have linked it to, um, my Steam account. And I've linked it to my Gmail account, and I've linked it to my Twitch account. Um, I've done everything that it told me to do, and when I click on it, it still brings up an overlay to log in to the thing on Steam. But my Steam account is already linked, um, and it won't, and it also won't let me log in on the Steam overlay because Google tells me it's an insecure connection. So, um, as far as Square Enix is con concerned, uh, they think that I'm linked between all three. And also, I uh, I have the overlay installed on on Twitch. So uh, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. All right. If it doesn't work, I will try again to see if I can get it ready for tomorrow. We just lost 400 viewers after I said that. Pfft, I don't want to vote. Pfft. Are we doing the dark picture 
Pitcher Anthology mess next year. There are games from until the Until Dawn and are pretty, pretty and dog fucking dog shit. What? Uh, maybe we'll do that for Halloween next year. Next year is Yeekmas. Better say thanks to the f the f the Falzar sub. What? Thank you, Falzar sub. Who's Falzar sub? I didn't even know Falzar was a dom. Did you give Life is Strange two an out of ten score? Uh, three. Don't you love that now I've tapped back into it? It's exactly the same as the uh, the same sound. It's fucking great, huh? Thank you for the gift subs, man of answers. Thank you very much. Alright, so, um, Happy New Year, including the time from, uh, from New Year's, um, Eve to, to now, like that, that night, uh, I have gotten six hours of sleep so far this year, so I am not doing well. Um, I think I'm sick. I kept waking up. All last night and by last night I mean like I finally fell asleep at around 8 o'clock this morning uh, and I finally fell asleep but I kept waking up um, like really really nauseous but I, c I couldn't like get there so I don't know if it was like really bad like like acid stomach acid kind of thing I don't know so I'm not feeling all that great I haven't got a lot of sleep um, I'm not feeling that bad all things considered so I hope we can get through it um, I'm waking up. Yeah, that's true. Um, so we'll see. Are you keeping DMCA mode on for this one too? Yeah, like, so it's not just about Twitch. It's also about YouTube. Like, if, if, um, like, if I upload this to YouTube and they're like, hey, there's copyright music, I'll be like, no, there isn't. And then, like, by all rights, they'd be like, well, there's a setting in there. Why didn't you turn it off? I'm like, well, by all rights, it's a Let's Play. It should be allowed. And then that might just be bullshit forever, you know? So, I don't know. Thank you, Annie, for Prez. 20, 20 gift subs. Thank you so much. Great gift subs. Did you brush your teeth, though? I did brush my teeth. Hey, Joe. Isn't Primer a mediocre, overcomplicated movie with no real setup and payoff? Um, I mean, I think you could make that argument. I would disagree with it, but I can see where you're coming from for sure. Yeah, but I still like it. I, I can admit that there are uh, negative takes uh, on media that I really enjoy, uh, especially when it's not a game. Speaking of movies, uh, Lily and I brought in the new year watching Glass Onion, and I thought it was pretty good. So I just saw Glass Onion, and it was pretty great. The cinematography was well shot. Some of, some of the uses of the camera, some of the decisions the director made contributed to the story. And I like that the glass onion was also a part of the title and a part of the history of the characters and one part of the setting. Um, I felt like, no spoilers obviously, I felt like it was a more entertaining movie and more successful in that way as it was a murder mystery. You may disagree, but um, I enjoyed it as an, as entertainment more than anything else. It was pretty good. Anyone else really like uh, Dave Batista? I really like him. The only thing I've seen of him in that I I thought he was like just okay was um, that zombie movie where they go to Las Vegas. Like he was uh, he wasn't bad. But there was a couple scenes where it was kind of like, meh, like, 
it's not really working for me. Uh, like when he was like trying to be really emotional. I think he can do serious. I just don't think he can do sad. He's pretty hot. Yeah, he is pretty hot. Yeah. Lily had never seen him before, and after the movie was over, um, because I mentioned he was in it before that, uh, Lily turns to me and says, so is he, is he, is he pretty big? And I was like, I pull out my phone and I'm like, like, yeah, he's almost two, two meters tall. And she was like, no, <laughs> like, is he, is he really popular? Like, does he have a really big career? Like, <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's pretty huge right now. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start a new game, and we're gonna see if the choice works uh, for the first one. And if it doesn't, I'm not fixing it. So we'll, I'll try and fix it for tomorrow. We're just gonna play without it. All right. So here we go. If you often have stomach acid, that's keeping keep me up, leave it at your head. But some planks or something under. The head. Yeah, I know. I know all these tricks. Don't worry. Yeah, it's um. It, this is this is why it was weird last night. Is because um. I I'm I am quite experienced with this now because it's a, a regular problem for me. I sleep with three pillows. Um, I know I can sleep on my left side, but uh, not really on my right side. That's what that usually gets me. Um, that's one of the reasons why I started drinking less water, and it's really helped. I feel like I was bloating my stomach, and that was giving me the stomach acid problem. Uh, but I uh, last night, I don't think it was a typical stomach acid problem. I think I was just really, really nauseous. No matter how I slept, no matter how I was elevated, I was still having issues last night or this morning. All right, new game. You're stealing my prime sub from Northern Lion. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Thank you, you piece. So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven I can't Springs, tell if Colorado. she's awkward or if it's just the motion correct? capture is awkward. That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school oh, or a job? This was empathy training. Look in the background. My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. One streamer know. really laughed. At, he doesn't know we left at the tiger sticker. No one will once I leave this place. Alright, it's pretty funny how I've seen it. A normal girl. A normal Watch Ryan Johnson's breakdown of the opening pier scene on Vanity Fair. It's really good. Is it? I'll, I'll give it a give it a look. I really like the first half of the movie. I think it was better than um than uh, Knives Out. Or some say Knives Out. What do you think of the facial expressions in this game? Uh so far, you know. Uh the faces are expressed. And the dialogue is acted. I was talking to Wuggy about this yesterday, about how, the, like, y you can see the two halves of chat um, dr while I was reading that review of people that, like, were so in tune with the joke and were like, holy shit, I wonder if he's going to bring up the facial animations again. And the other half, which is kind of like, uh, people would be like, I don't understand why this, why is this funny? I don't get it. What the hell? It's just a review. Like, it Dave said to meet him at the bridge. <laughs> I can't wait to see him. It was so he funny to me. to meet him at the bridge. <laughs> Okay, I turned Direct X12 off, by the way, because um, I don't want it chugging. Okay. Ooh. Dr. Lingard. <laughs> Who's Mariella? Okay, you know what? Let's just see if the... Uh, let's just see if the, uh, the, the choice works.
I think you're gonna have 30 seconds to vote. So by the time stream lag is accounted for, it'll be like 25 seconds. And like, that's gonna have to be it, sorry. Do you have suggestions or democratic mode? Let's find out, streamer. I'm pretty sure it's democratic mode. Full democracy. Full democracy. Press B to leave the Zen moment. <laughs> what? Alex. Oh no, I've lost my Zen. Chat's gonna vote to hug him for sure. Here we go. Here we go. Holy shit. That's really him. What's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? Oh, smell that exposition? Mwah! May I have another please game? It works. It works. All right. It also means I can't pause it. Calculating. What? I'm not much of a hugger, but I'm really glad to see you. Very professional. We're excited to have you aboard, Miss Chen. Maybe have a little I'm less time. Thrilled to be here, sir. But with the stream lag and everything, can I get it to twenty? Fifteen. Fifteen. Like. That's 10 seconds. I don't think 10 seconds is 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 a good enough time. 15 but it's not 15. It's by the time it gets there, isn't it? Isn't it 10 by the time it shows up in chat and shit? We already knew what this one was going to be. I th I think we let's stick with 30. We can always change it later, right? I can't believe you're here. Believe it. Uh oh. She's all grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Time will do that to you. Yeah. Are you ready to see the town? Let's do it. I'm nervous. Alright, this is not a choice, right? Is this a choice? Doesn't look like it. So I get to do. So it's only gonna be important choices that show up, right? Okay, that's good. I'm nervous. Yeah. Alright, did she just use empathy on herself? I'm just a little nervous. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> Alex wakes up in the morning, wonder how I'm feeling today. <laughs> alright, look in the mirror. Whoa. Huh, alright. Fucking, she has a fucking, she's just a walking fucking mood ring. <laughs> this reunion's being filmed. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. Even better. How Damn. was the trip? You must be wiped. It was a trip. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey. Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leif, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh. You're gonna get flowers from her and deliver to people. Oh, it is so get nice. Get ready for to flower delivery. Meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. I don't like her. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Damn, Alex. Okay, she's growing on me a little bit. For reasons. Welcome to Haven. Rocky Mountain Record Traders. Ski and bike. Bailey's. Alright. 
getting kind of an like I'm gonna be able to walk around wherever I want and that scares me Dude, what's the story this time doing her powers? It just started. Her powers seem to be... It's nice. She can read minds. But maybe it's not that. Chat says she's an empath. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find a prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. I can. So I, I can wait. <laughs> blasting notice. We mean blasting. Hello, hey, who are you? Riley. Meet my sister, Alex. Hey, Riley. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? Honesty. It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? To, to honesty? Yeah. Yeah, Not of course. lying. More like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or... I saved too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? Be honest. Be clever. All right, we'll try 15 after this and see if this one. Ooh, there's a spider. All right, what one? Calculating. And be clever one. I can't overwrite it? I would be clever. Telling the truth only gets you so far. Oh, you hear? Five minutes. Hear that, Gabe? You're outnumbered. I'll never surrender. He'll come around eventually. Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. Don't do that. Don't get her that. What do you think? What did you do? Sunflowers. What did you do? What uh, exactly are you apologizing for? I cheated this on her. This time around? Maybe the toilet seat? What? <laughs> what? What in the boomer humor is this? What? Sunflower Sunflowers is basic ass. Lily of the Valley. Go with the wife, okay? Wait, 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 there no fucking, fucking, fucking vote for that one? If you're trying to say sorry. That I am. And that I will. Joe, do you close the lid when you flush? No. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. What would you be? On and off Mac ready? Sort yeah. of. More on right now, but... Wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab. Yeah. Who has a tab at the flower Are you sure shop? You don't want to just tell Mac about the interview. No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. Okay, I don't know why, but this is already way better than Life is Strange 2. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? Gardening books. How to Kill Everything You Touch. A flower book by Alex Chen. <laughs> what? <laughs> fucking hilarious poses. What the fuck? It's like a firefighter calendar, but with grandmas. <laughs> oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. 
Mwah! Mwah! Oh, gorgeous. You can gorgeous. Make anything pretty. Unabashed. Okay inside. Shameless. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh god, please stop. No problem. <sighs> the tiny house movement is really taking off. Hey Gabe, considering you have a tap here, does that mean you have no money, no problems? <laughs> Hold LT when something displays to see emotions attached to the character. I hope Charlotte likes the lilies. Okay. Let's try it. On you. Oh! She's turned on! What if I don't get in? Shit! What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. What if I don't get in? Okay. Shit. This is not empathy. What if I do get in? This is not empathy. Am I really ready to leave this place? Th th this is just... This is just mind reading. This is not empathy. Aw. I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Rachel Amber? I don't really have family, but I'd like to. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. I'm gonna read someone's thoughts later. Don't think about it. Don't think about what you did last night. Don't think about what you did last night. Huh, this is like, like, dark aura around them as I'm reading their thoughts. Huh, they must have had a really bad night watching anime or something. Hmm, employees only. Employees only. Employees only. Hmm, a lot of employees at this place. Hey, Riley. What the fu- Alright, let's go. Gabe, let's go. Guy out of here. Let's go. Why are we so slow? Ready. Let's mind read everyone's favorite John Lennon quote Thanks. and say it to See them. See you soon, Rye. We're gonna be everyone's friend. Oh, she doesn't even look. All right, I really like Riley so far. Best girl. Do 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 do. I agree with Nyagus. It'd be more interesting. I don't. I don't. How long have you and Charlotte I didn't see been Nyagus, dating? Uh, Nyagus mm. comments. Sorry. About three years now. I think. Whoa, what the hell? You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. You have a tab. She's worth it. Is she? Warning. Wait, wait, what was that about Why fucking blasting? It's getting windy. My oh, it's a chatty flying. guy. I just <gasps> McCready? Alright, what is this about blasting? Blasting notice. Automated blasting to take place Sunday. April 28th, 2019, 9 p.m. Warning sirens will sound prior to detonation in areas within blast radius. Do not enter blast area. All right, this, there, someone's, so I just started blasting. Hey, how are you? You know what I would like to do? I would like a Life is Strange game where you, um... Uh, play as a good character. I want a Life is Strange game where it's uh, it's Groundhog Day. I think that would be fun. And you have like a like a big open area, and you have to get to. I think that would be a good direction to use time travel again, but not in the exact same way. These are really nice. Thanks. I also maybe it's maybe it's uh, set in space. Myself. Wow. Well, here we are. Huh. Wow. Good to know. That's just 12 minutes. I hear 12 minutes is shit, so a Life is Strange game with that. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, okay. Can I read your thoughts? 
No, you're a mystery, Bon Jovi. Okay. Ooh, what's your end game? I can't read you. What about you guys? I can't. I can't read anyone. My powers suck. Step one: patch things up with Charlotte. And step two: Alex and Charlotte become best friends, and everyone's happy forever. Gabe's okay. pretty nervous about making sure I'll like it here. It's sweet. What a common emotion, and has nothing to do with uh, with mind reading. I often have the emotion of hoping that my ex estranged sister will will get along with my partner, and that they'll be best friends forever after that. What a common emotion. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. What did you think? Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. For fuck's sake, we're hey, monkey. Don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh last time I checked, like zero bees. Wow. Just wow. Goat yoga. Center your mind, free your mind, center your body, free your mind, and do it all with tiny little goat feet on your back. Jo oh, I thought it was going to be yoga for goats. I didn't think it was going to be yoga with goats. It's like, bring your goat and we'll and we'll teach it how to do yoga. Uh, I'm disappointed what now. What shit is goat yoga? Yoga. With goats. Yeah. Welcome to Colorado. Uh-huh. I went to the yoga class the other day. They had a bunch of goats there. It was the best yoga I ever had. It was fucking goaded. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Let's, you know. It's no problem, really. Oh, we're just doing this right now? Can you turn off full democracy? No. Trust me. Hey, Ethan. Oh. Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. So Charlotte's. What's you a... reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found uh, the scepter of serenity yet? Fucking hell. You know Ninth Warden. She's looking for the oh scepter, my God. but I think she'll need the bangle of vanishing to get to it. Vanishing, my kind of power. I prefer the fire ring because I set I'd fires. I'd fire from my hand. Yep. Burn all my enemies to mm -hmm. a crisp. Yep. Pyromaniac what for sure. What if you're high fiving a friend and the fire ring goes off? Risky. Worth the <laughs> risk. If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. Oh, that was easy. I'd love to see it. I wouldn't. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. Oh, Ethan's dead. A bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. After all those blasting Rachel Amber posters, gee, I wonder what's gonna happen. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. Kid's gonna get stuck in in the mines, and then the Elon Musk stand-in is gonna show up to the to the town, and they're gonna just fucking just rip on him like like they did on fucking politics in the last one. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. <sighs> oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. No, it's cool. Promise you'll be careful. Nah, it's cool. I have no room to judge. Gabe and I used to get into all sorts of places we didn't belong. Thanks, Alex. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. Let's go get some vinyls. I only listen to things on vinyl. If you sell it here, it's already too mainstream for me. Oh, 
Wow. Are you bored yet? I'm not bored yet. Oh, I see Fl Rich Lamber? This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years Damn. later. Look how much work went into these environments. We're going to be coming here a lot. <laughs> Still waiting for my big brother in the record store. <laughs> Except this time, I'm buying the record. Yeah, all right. No way. Stuff. Is there meant to be music? Oh. Oh. Uh... Unicorn sandwich, zombie parade, zombie parade. Hell yeah. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. We're in. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Ryan Clayton? Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since forever. I'm Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Don't think about nice it. Don't you. think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about what we did last night. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? Still deciding. Cool so far. I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't wow, we actually get music like this here. Yep, it's our cultural landmark for sure. So the store is closed, but they opened it just for you. You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well. Oh my God, is she flirting? Is is this what she thinks flirting is? Oh God. You could say that an outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds wow that's nerdy the nerdiest thing i've ever seen and i owned <laughs> two schoolhouse rock albums <laughs> i'd lie and say it was from wait that was actually kind of mean i thought it was gonna be what the my work but no, it's totally for fun. <laughs> so, you're a... Nerd, yep. Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. Nah, he, he does. does like music. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. How do you know that? Everyone here just knows everyone pretty else? pretty sure. He put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. <sighs> Damn. I know I saw it before. This guy's reasonably hot, right? Want to help me look? In kind of a oh, plain yeah. way. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. 
Conventional, yeah, in a conventional way. Yeah, that's a better this way to say. This place has just the right amount of dorkiness. All right, let's see. Don't think about it. Oh, I can't read you. Oh, fucking lame. Can I? Can I read the girl through the glass? That's totally not Steph. Okay, this power sucks. Why are you giving me a power, but you're not letting me use it whenever I fucking want? Remember the fucking watch in Dishonored, and I could point it at anybody, and I could just be like. Whoa, and it didn't work all the time. Like, like sometimes it just looped generic shit, but you could use it on anybody. Fucking hell, man. Well, I don't know what it was. You could, you could like, it would tell you like a little snippet of the of what would happen to them after you, you left. I can't remember if it was a watch or some sort of, uh, the heart, the heart, sorry. Didn't it have some like mechanical thing on it? Apparently plants can feel pain, but can they cry seeing all of melancholy and the infinite sadness in bed? I don't think so. Why are you bringing dogs into this? Yeah, um, plants cannot feel pain. Standing on stage in front of a crowd of strangers? Fuck creepy crawlies. That's the stuff of nightmares. And yet you will do it in episode... You're not the boss of me, poster. Three. I'm waking up. I'm. Oh, hold on. Got a switch. I always have a headset around my neck. Music is very important to me. What would I do without it? So, this is Haven Springs. A tiny town so deep in the mountains that car sickness is the price of entry with its own radio station, record store, and dispensary. <sighs> Drugs really that important to people? Like seriously. It still doesn't feel real. Like I could wake up back in that group home any moment. Just take the DMCA hits like a man. No, fuck the game. Fuck your music. This if they wanted fucking now. like to, that to be an actual option, then they should have replaced it with fucking music that is like, okay, it's not as good, but here's some copyright free stand in for people to have to do that. That has to be the standard going forward. Nah, fuck this shit. Can I get some true colors in the chat? So it's like Ryan just waiting? Oh. How very small town. Red Rock Summer Concerts. KRCT Summer Giveaways. Don't miss out. Family Portraits and Other Commissioned Art. Charlotte Harmon. Time for spring cleaning. Make sure to give your gutter some love too. Call Gunther's Gutter Gutters today. All right. It wouldn't be fair to Life is Strange 2 if we just played the music in this one, all right? And also wouldn't be fair to all the necks we've snapped before. I'm detecting an indie pattern. No. Delightful. Okay. A seriously obscure indie pattern. Color me impressed. Wait. Is that the hold list? <laughs> I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. What do you mean, just pick her up and move her? Yeah. What are you doing? We just grab the list and she'll move when you pick it up. Have you never interacted with a cat before? Go get the bidet and spray her. Chore calendar. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> Valkyrie. That's one badass cat name. That's a good cat name, I agree. I did a report on Jane Eyre once in high school. I'd love to actually read the book one day. Not a bad line. Not a bad hmm. line. Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. 
Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? It's gonna be... Crazy Stick Cult. Touch and die. I hate stuff so much. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? I hate stuff so much. It's been so Green long day. since I've played. Green Day! Bamagera! Batchest! I love Bamagera, man. His band's awesome. Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time. 21 guns! Never got there. Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. I've seen Green Day live. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? One of the few bands I have seen live. Made in Poland in the 1930s, The Witcher, this clarinet belonged to Igor Sobie Sobieski, a renowned clarinetist and survivor of World War II. Igor and his family moved to New York in 1947, where he founded Sobie's Music, an importer of fine instruments from all over the world. Igor eventually retired to Haven Springs, where his generous donations still fund KRCT, Haven's own independent radio station. Okay, what are you doing? Looks like Ryan might need some help finding- Oh god, his it. name is actually Ryan! It's the same name! I thought it was memeing. Did I make this happen? His name was Ryan in- in fucking like, uh, in, uh, in Beyond Two Souls too, right? It was Ryan Clayton. Dude, he looks like a character from Beyond Two Souls, and I just started calling him Ryan because he looks like him. I didn't realize his name was actually Ryan in this game, too. Don't freak out. I'm just gonna... Okay, just kidding. God, it's a cat. What? How are we gonna do anything in this game if we can't even handle a cat? Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? Banjo dubstep, acapella screamo. I think Gabe's gotten so emo that he doesn't like instruments anymore. Just dudes screaming and crying into the microphone. Just dudes. Dear God, let's hope not. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Just, there's a spray bottle there. Just use the spray bottle. I mean, you shouldn't have to. Just fucking just move the cat. Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. It's true. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Mm, nothing. Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. You could check the register. Okay, but what if it's three unbroken hours of improvisational jazz flute? That he listens to while writing scathing film reviews. Yeah. And yeah. sipping a $50 Yeah, they're Americana. flirting. This is flirting. <laughs> wow. Is this what flirting is to Zoomers? Alas, no toy. You can't flirt anymore. It has to be ironic the whole time. Maybe in the junk box. What if he listens to Death Grips? How is oh, this? This is absolutely flirting, chat. The winner. Do I have to teach you how to flirt too? This is flirting. Good guess. <laughs> be safe out there. They're hipsters, show. They have if to be I ironic all times. Yeah, they're flirting ironically. Death, tell Gabe, I'm sorry. Says the married man who doesn't know what flirting is. How do you think I got married, motherfucker? I love to flirt. Still, I flirt all the time. Go ask your mo 
Yeah, this would work. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? You can't flirt. You don't know how much right. game I have. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good. You have no idea how much game I have. I have so much game. Kings of Leon. Really? Kings of fucking Leon? Name, item, hold date, pickup date, Gabe Chen, Tiny Blue Bot, Steph, Narrow Pathers, Cass Groves, Wild Air, Jed Lucan, the guy with the face. What? Steph, grade school group project, Kings of Leon. That is very normal. Should have known. Should you have? Wait. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and... You and Leo are high school sweethearts. Your game might have well been Hello, Hello, Hello Neighbor 3 when you first wooed her. All, all I'm hearing is... Wow, you're so good at game that you nailed it on the first try, okay? That's all I'm hearing, all right? That's all I'm hearing. Fucking, like, even back in high school. Such game. Such game. Rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? Maybe Ryan wants to get with Gabe. Dork. Badass. Badass. Actually, he was a pretty badass older brother. He smoked cigarettes, Whoa. which at the time I thought was awesome. And he somehow managed to get his first tattoo when he was 12. What? Damn. I don't, the I don't, I don't grows. believe you. I don't believe you. All right, you're looking at... Unless it was from Cassidy. I don't believe you. 20 bucks for a record? No, no way. Oh no. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I put into this? I just can't stop myself from reading her body language. You just, no, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> Ryan's like, damn, there's something weird with her. She knows about something. Better not think about my serial killing when she's around from now on. She seems really it's intuitive. It's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had- I can watch the boost if- you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? You have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls, though. I'll be there, one sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Please, no. Please, no. Please no, please no, please no. Oh, please no. Please no. Oh, please no. Uh, Is it with McReady? We're gonna okay? go LARPing as fishermen? Never better. Better now that you're here, Ryan. Sorry. Okay, my goal in this game is to bang Ryan. Thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Hey, meet my boyfriend before Things I meet your girlfriend. Charlotte? Thanks to your help. Oh, he's thoughtful. I can't wait for you guys to meet. Oh, be best friends. boy. See him like like block his view of the of the gift there. Oh, best boy. Damn. He's also an empath. Speaking of my two favorite people in my favorite place, what have you guys been up to? Flirting, talking about birds. You know talking about bird calls and bird call related media this guy really loves his birds and i am a bird you know we're trying to keep her in haven right anyway i'm glad you two met not only is this dude my best friend he's the best guide to haven you could ever find <laughs> and this dude hands me the best beers He's, he's your By best friend. Way, he didn't what record are you reserved? Mac was in here earlier, and uh, Macready. You... Hey, Alex. It's Steph. Sorry, I had to run out like a crazy person. Excited to meet you for real at the lantern tonight. You too. How do you have my number? 
How do you have my number? Okay, who's Morelia? Hey, is this still your number? Oh my god, Alex. Hey, Mary. So good to hear- Hi! Uh, so good to hear from you. How are you? I'm okay. Sorry to ask, but do you have a place I could crash? My amazing decision-making abilities got me into some trouble. Yes, of course. Our apartment has a couch with your name on it. I'll call you in a few. Thanks so much. I'll pay you back with tender love and affection. Lol. Merry Christmas, Alex. Hope you are someplace warm. Hey, Mary. Yeah, I'm totally smoking. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Wait, how long was this ago? Damn, you guys... You guys didn't talk much. Did you ever figure out things with Miss Stevens? No, she's a bitch. I ended up back in the group home and after that... Co no. So sorry, Alex. You deserve better. All good. I already added her to my won't be sad if murdered list. And then she was murdered. Hi, Mary. I bought the latest PTC vinyl. We'll trade it away for a few more nights on your couch. Hey, lol. Sure thing. I'm home right now. Thanks. I promise I won't make this a habit. I got you, girl. Alex, how are you? Haven't heard from you in forever. Hey, sorry I missed this. This, this year's been crazy, but I'm managing you relatable one day at a time i've been a pretty nice guy at work we've gone out a few times oh cool tell him not to fuck it up emoji i'm hey i'm in your neck of the woods want to get a drink hola chica i already started let's go let's go lol i actually got a table for aunt at auntie's for once come by sick brit hey mary i'm really sorry but can i crash again i decided i need a break from the hellhole known as helping hands alex i'm sorry about a few friends staying with me right now so i can't maybe in a week or two no worries i'll figure something out have a good night you too good luck be safe hey you okay you left the bar pretty quick last night hey mary are you there mary don't be coy i've totally seen you naked mary mary please text me if you get this i was joking about stuff i said last week there's nothing weird about me except that one birthmark i was drunk i was joking mary please i need you of all people to not treat me like a freak please okay what so she told her about her her empathy and Morella was like, that's just being a normal person. She thinks this is weird. Alright. Isaac. <sighs> hey Alexis, Isaac from the record store. Thanks for schooling me on Bri Brianna Lilac. Her first album is great. It was really nice meeting yesterday. You must have the wrong number. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm kidding. Just kidding, dude. It's Alex Saul. Jesus, so so bummed up for a second. Why would you do that to me? Sorry. It was nice meeting you too. Would love to take you out for coffee sometime. You owe me one for that cruel and unusual joke. Ha, huh, maybe next weekend. Great. I'll ping you Saturday. Have a happy ha Halloween on Discord. Hey, Alex. Are you free tonight for a drink? I know a spot downtown that serves literally the perfect sang sang sangria. Hey, Isaac. Sorry for the delay. I can't do drinks, but maybe coffee after lunch. You can try to redeem your musical taste. Uh, challenge accepted. Have you been to the Silver Kettle on S SW Washington? Not yet. 3 p.m. See you there. I had a great time, Alex. Despite your questionable choice in beverage, there's nothing wrong with uh, nothing wrong with hot chocolate emoji. Hi, Alex. You free for drinks tonight? I'm craving another lesson on Portland singer songwriters. Prepare for an education. Call me after lunch. You got it. Hey, beautiful. Interested in a cocktail tonight, or just tons of popcorn in a movie? Why not both? Now we're talking. Let's start with a cocktail. Okay. How old is Alex? Is she like 22? Why was she in a- why was she in a, a home? What was that? She's- she's 18 and she has this life of- of coffee and- and going to bars and shit? Like, there's no way. She's in her 20s, right? She's 21? Okay, I don't understand where she was- because that felt like- like a school to me. Like- like a- like a boarding school kind of thing. But it's not. It's like it's like a like a, a live-in therapy group home thing. Like I don't understand what that was. Why not both? Now we're talking. Let's start with a cocktail. You free at eight ish? Sure. Very belated, but uh, happy new year. Sorry I've been out of touch, just busy with my program. Happy new year, don't worry about it. Can I take you out tonight? How about full on dinner with wine and bread, like actual dinner? Actual dinner sounds great. Thanks, Isaac. I'll get glammed up a bit. It's about time. You need to step up your glam game. Hey, you haven't seen me at roll out of bed level glam not yet maybe i'll see that tomorrow morning Hoo -hoo! easy there trigger not tiger is it triger emoji hi isaac you around hey alex how goes it do you think i can crash at your place tonight that foster care life is catching up with me what but how what? Of course, I'll get out the wine. Thank you so much. I don't really need the wine. I'm actually pretty beat. I'll take it out just in case. Call me when you're downstairs. Alex, last night was incredible. I'm really glad you came over. Everything okay? Oh, yeah. They went for it. Hey, yeah, we just moved a little fast last night. Can we hold off on, on sex for a while? What's wrong? I thought you were having a good time. I just wasn't in the right mindset. Sorry to hear that. You were giving me all the right signals and I thought you were interested. Hey, Alex, want to get a drink? Alex, you awake? Let me know if you get, get these. Alex, come get drinks. I'm buying Alex. Hey, Isaac. Alex, channel on time to see. 
Uh, this is like what? S five months later? I know, right? Listen, I need a place to crash again. Can I buy you a free beer? You have something that's way better than beer, and you know it. I just need a place to sleep, and that's all. And that's what I've got. And then some just come over. This caller's been blocked. You will receive a message from the number. All right, things didn't go well with Isaac. All right. I wonder what she like sensed in terms of empathy, you know, when she was there, and then something really bad happened. I'm guessing. Hopefully not really, really, really bad though. Hey, this is this Gene. That's Cosmic Charlie, the friend. To whom am I, am I speaking? Alex. Stacy gave me your number. Are you still selling? Only to those who truly know how to surrender to the flow. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Don't fucking think you belong in our family, bitch. Whoa. Okay then. Is this Bridget? You're not gonna stay here. Go back to where you came from. I wonder what your parents will think about this behavior. They won't believe you. You're texting me, genius. I have a written record. Fuck you. So, um. Victoria changed her name to Bridget. Dr. Lin. Dr. Lingard. Alex, we have a session scheduled in my office. You're going to make it. Alex, punctual attendance of scheduled sessions with your assigned counselor are a precondition of your residence at Helping Hands, Alex. Let's call this strike one. I'm sorry, I lost track of time. Per our session yesterday, to pilot the self by Dr. Levy Hopfner. Right. To ticks. I hope you find it helpful. Just checking in. How are you feeling after everything? Is Heather okay? She's upset, which I think you'll agree is understandable, but she's not hurt. I'm so sorry. Uh, how could you hurt someone with your empathy? Alex, where are you? Your things are gone. Who are you with? Alex, please get in touch with me. No one knows where you are. Alex, I realize you're in an emotionally vulnerable, vulnerable position right now. I'd like to speak to you before I leave for the night. Are you settled in? Yes. May I stop by your room briefly? Yes. Good luck in this new chapter of your life. Please know that I am here, f here for you if you need me. Uh... Damn, that was a big time jump. What the fuck? This caller has been blocked. You will no longer receive messages from the number. Okay, what happened? I'm curious what happened. Oh my god. All right, let's do gay blast. Chelsea. Hey, Alex, it's Chelsea. Thank you so much for your help with Harley last night. My jaw is still sore, but it could have been way worse if you didn't step in. <laughs> hey Chelsea, I'm glad you're okay. Harley is awful, don't worry. Not every girl is that bad in foster care. Text me if you need me, okay? Heart, heart, heart. Oh my god, thank you. I didn't think I was gonna get any birthday gifts. The necklace is beautiful. Happy birthday, don't be too thankful. I bought it at a pawn shop. Hey, orphans can't be picky, right? Truth. Hey Alex, sorry to bother you. Do you have any spare pads? I'm having a situation here. No, no bother. Check the drawer in my nightstand. I think I stashed some in there. You remain my hero. Thank you. Heart. Hey Chelsea, I have something important to tell you and I, did, I, I didn't want to wait. At the end of the month, I'm going to move to Colorado to live with my brother. Leaving you is the literal only downside to this plan. I'm really sorry. Uh, you know that I'm always a phone call or text away, phone call or text away, okay? Congrats. You have blocked this caller. Don't be sorry. I'm ha so happy for you. Can we talk more this weekend? I want to hear all about it. Sounds good. Good luck I'll, today. I'll miss you. You have blocked this caller. I'll, I'll miss you. Don't let anyone push you around, okay? You're rad as hell. Life has been hard these past few years, but I'm really glad we met. Me too. And then she died. Gabe. Alright, let's do Gabe. Oh man, there's so much shit. <sighs> Alex? Who's this? Holy shit. Alex Chen? Sorry, who's this? It's Gabe. Is this kind of joke? No, you do Alex Chen? Why would you... Are they actually brother and sister? Or... Is this some kind of joke? No, Dork, you call me right now. Hey, it was so right catching up yesterday. Chat again later? Yeah, sure. Hey, how was your weekend? Pretty good. Charlotte and I took Ethan hiking. Lots of fun. Habu, finally listen to the new Paint Thinner Coffee album. They're killing it. They're krilling it. Are they really? Pts rips. Ever seen them live? Not yet. Def will, def will when I get the chance. Hey, how are things? Alex, sorry I haven't texted. Things are crazy busy. Wow, what a reconnection. Hey, how are you? Things are weird right now. Dealing with it. Do you need help? No, I'm okay, thanks. Alien, would you ever want to live in ha Haven? Duck. Duck. Not alien. Not You're not an alien. You're Ali. Ali. Autocrat. Auto, lol, this phone is an idiot. Oh, he's trying to say fuck. Ali, you awake? Lol, hey, bud. Have you been drinking? No, this is my natural state. Answer the question. Go to bed. Oh, fuck, I drunk texted you. Serious, though. Fatur. Offer stands. Haven's cool. Hey, what's up? Haven't heard from you in a few days. Are you all right? Alex, please call me when you get this. How are you holding up? I'm okay. It's been shitty here, but we've been through worse. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Can't believe you're coming. Yes, me neither. Thanks again for saying the ticket. You're a lifesaver. Of course, we're so excited to have you here. Tomorrow's the big day. You need anything? No, I'm good. I don't know how much to carry, you know. It comes with a gigantic bag. Like, uh, okay, throws the horns. Hey, I'm about an hour away. Can't wait. I'm ready for you. Bus just pulled in. Emoji, emoji, emoji. On my way. I'm so excited. 
Whoa, world's okayest boyfriend. She look. This looks like two different art styles. Look how just completely thrilled she is. No wonder he's always constantly buying flowers. Gah, you were right. Read lilies. I feel like I'll get used to saying that with you. I won't get used to hearing it. By the way, I invited you to our neighborhood on my block. Check it out when you have a sec. Cool, thanks. All right. Is this it? My block. Oh, no. Okay, at least there's only two pages of the journal. Tessa Anger. Bitter and jealous and a little queasy. That's what the anger tasted like. Didn't even have time to step back. Seconds later, I was rushing across the room. What a mess. I split her lip open, poor thing. I wonder how long it'll take to heal. It's hard to clean blood off your clothes. Makes you feel wrong. I don't really blame her for being upset. She thinks I get special treatment at the home, but I don't. Doesn't matter now. She keeps to herself. Most of the other kids do, actually. So that'll be business as usual until a new group comes in and this starts all over again. The worst part? They confused my fucking guitar. Confiscated my fucking guitar two-week ban at least I get it back I promise I promise it's not what you say no favors no secrets and I'm coming my way and after all this you still have to pay my name is Alex and I am here to say all right so she's she's into music not into art okay Isabel Anguish. I tried to write this so many times, but they all ended up in the trash. Let's see how far I can get. I really liked Isabel. She was sweet and loved to paint and smuggled in a few beers for us on weekends. But her depression was brutal. It crept under my fingernails and made my eyelids feel like stone and I had to focus just to keep breathing like dipping your ribcage in lead. It was hard to get away from. Eventually, it got too much. Two bottles of sedatives lying, lying in vomit. Her eyes were, her eyes open and glassy and afraid. I'm sorry, Isabel. I thought we could have stayed friends when we finally got out of this vanilla-flavored holding pen. I wish you could have stuck around for a little longer. If I ever see you again, I'll bring you. I'll, I'll bring the beer. All right, that was kind of dark. Okay, hold on. Was that the one with uh, that we that we were texting and said I'm gonna miss you? No. Okay music is you know what i mean like fucking visual art just like you know what i mean about the fucking squares and triangles if you put a picture of a square in front of someone and said look at this rectangle they're gonna look at you like you're a fucking monster like wh wh who is this person who is this alien hey look at this rectangle Oh, this is so much shit. Charlotte Harmon. Huge thanks to everyone who helped out with Doc Day. All our kiddos will be safe from splinters another year. Jed Lucan. That old doc's never looked better, and my hands have never looked worse. Thank you for organizing that, Charlotte. Huge thanks to everyone who helped my, my boyfriend buy me flowers. Hand super glued to taxidermy animal help. Ducky, maybe you meant to type this into Google. What? You need to be typing in, in Google if you want to answer right away. Where's that? How about I just come over with some nail polish remover? It'll be easier for both. Oh man, look at Ryan Lucan just being like like just super Oh Jed Lucan! Ryan has a dad. Look at Ryan just being so helpful. Haven Springs Birding Society. We are proud to announce this year's birding competition, the Haven Springs Bird Off. Begins this fr this weekend. Official sighting list will be available on our website Saturday after midnight. Good luck, birders. Do we get some bonus points for multiple sightings of the same species like last year? You'll need more than that to beat me. Ha <laughs> Think you can beat me? Sleep with one eye open, Lucan, so you can spot more birds. Exciting. Ooh. Mask off? I want to wish a happy birthday to Haven's one and only nerdy bird-loving looks great with that beard park ranger, Ryan Lucan. The world became a better place when he was born 47 years ago. Happy B-Day, bro. Thanks, Gabe. A little off with the age, though. Don't be mean, Gabe. You only turned 47 once. 24 for the record. Is that in dog years or dead? Got it. You guys do this bit every year. Does it ever get old? Not as old as you. Dad. Happy, <laughs> happy birthday, Ryan. <laughs> All right. So is Ryan in love with Gabe? Did I misread this? Par parkour lessons. Do you think at some point Ryan is gonna just fucking like vault over some shit and like just like like run over some buildings, jump across a huge gap, turn around and been like, I'm also a parkour ranger. Eh? Eh? Yeah? Parkour lessons. Anyone ha know where where I could take Ethan for parkour lessons? He's picked me up for, from his dad in Arizona and ever since he's been jumping off the walls, literally. I know there's there's peak parkour in Golden, but that's quite a trek. Any suggestions helps? 
full flow parkour in Grand Junction. Good find. Told you I'd come through. And here's the address for St. Remus Hospital in Grand Junction. Just in case. Oh, man. I like Jed. Jed's going to be good. Leith Flowers is separating his 30th anniversary of serving the Haven community on Saturday. Come by for some... Oh! Yeah! Congrats, Nana. Couldn't have made it in the last few years without you. Congrats yourself. Can't wait. Congratulations, Eleanor. Here's so many more. Jason Pike. Huge thanks. Huge thank you to Typhon Mining for donating two brand new Road King law enforcement motor motorcycles to the force. We'll be able to patrol the roads faster and more safely than ever. Your community is our community. Let's keep it safe. Makes me miss my riding days. You can arrest me on one of those anytime. <laughs> If anyone needs any computer help, hit me up. I'm pretty good with tech and trying to save up some extra cash in the next couple of weeks. Let me know. Can you teach my mom how to use her email? Sure. Maybe you could come up, come by the shop and take a look at our computer. Our payment software has been acting up. Let's find a day. And in one post, she becomes the whole town's IT emoji. While you're at it, want to set up my new play box? I'm sure you can manage on your own. It just it just keeps going. It just keeps going. It keeps going. Family portraits are open for commission. I can work off a photograph for a life post. Pet portraits and other art are open as well. Awesome. How about your lovely sculptures? Perhaps a squirrel or an Alfla Donita Rufa? A what now? Is a kind of rodent commonly called a mountain beaver, which, are, which is really a misnomer as they don't build dams. Nerd. I love Ryan. This weekend is your last chance to sign up for the Mountain Song, a live action role playing event in Denver. I'm helping organize it. It's going to be rad. Ethan and I are going, so you should too. You guys stoked the what? I can barely sleep. He's not lying. My kids might be interested. Shoot me the link. You got it. Just finished the Legendary Monster Hunter Thanor is finished. The latest issue of Legendary Monster Hunter Thanor is finished. Way to go. How many How many can I have for the store? I'll take him in to get a couple copies made this weekend. Yos. Ready to be Thanor for real in the LARP next week? Totally. It's going to be legendary. Yeah, that's not going to be something that we see. Reminder, Town Hall will be fielding any questions you may have regarding type of mining opening of the second pit mine. If there's anything you want to know, leave a comment. What kind of impact would the second mine have on the environment? Nothing. We should sure address that. I'll be happy to address that as well, but I doubt Typhon would like my answer. <sighs> Ooh, conflict building. Will this lead to more traffic through town? My kids make me walk home from school, and those tall trucks make me nervous. Second that. Thanks for voicing this concern. I'll make sure we talk about that. They're creating a bunch of new jobs, right? Do they know how many yet? I will find out. At least two. Hey, my sister Alex is finally getting into town tomorrow, so I expect everyone to be on their least worst behavior. I'll be adding her to my block as soon as she gets in. Everyone say welcome. So exciting. I can barely handle one chin. No way tomorrow. Happy for you. I'll buy you a beer Sunday to celebrate. Typhon Mining. It's more of the bullshit. All right. This poster has, disa has disabled reply. Oh man. Fucking Alex and Typhon Mining are going to get along like, like, uh, like fuck buddies. Like, holy shit. Blocking everybody. I can Ooh. see why Gabe fits in so well here. Free drinks tonight. The Black Lantern to celebrate my sister's arrival. What the hell is wrong with you, kid? There, they, there most certainly are not. It's too late. I've already, it's already been posted on the internet. Getting lit for free. Just try it. Can confirm. Alex is great. Can't confirm how she turned out so well and you turned out so you. It's a nature nurture thing. What do you mean? Oh yeah, we met yeah, Riley already. to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? What's going on? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. Watching the second game's VODs is totally legal for you to take back your kid if they're kidnapped in front of you. It's starting their life and everything. Yeah, thank you. Like, people in chat don't know what they're talking about, man. Grab someone's kid right into your house with them and suddenly you're in a Resident Evil safe house, safe room, and Nemesis isn't all out to follow you in. You can't, it's illegal! I should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey! One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. a boy. No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. 
She's a GM, so she's got to be in Denver pretty early. Game master? What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Surely this is the prettiest Life is Strange game so far. No, that would be before the storm because there's lambers in it. <laughs> but I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche. Okay. Good to meet you. Yeah, same. Is See Ethan just the is Ethan just the town's kid? Like what's going on? So weird seeing you do the dad thing. Dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. Oh, is I'm that like dad um plus? <laughs> yeah, okay, my bad. I forgot. We trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. Ethan That's didn't tell kid. Gabe about going to explore the old mine. Should we he tell him? He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? Vote, 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 Why are they both A? They're both A. Vote, 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 vote. Vote, 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 vote. I would tell him if it were up to me. Uh, I should probably tell you something. Shoot. Earlier when Ethan and I were talking, he mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> this fucking kid. I'm going to tell Charlotte. Just give me a sec. Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. Really? We'll see. I appreciate you telling me. No. You did the right thing. Okay, this was there was a better way of handling this. This is why I hate choices in games sometimes because it's it's just this like it's this choice between hey just be a complete fucking like blunt as fuck here's the information or don't give the information. Go up and be like hey you, the kid clearly trusts me and I don't want to ruin that but you know I'm a little concerned that he might get hurt in the mine so this didn't come from me but I'm just giving you a warning. Can you please now go and like bring it up to him in your own way so you can find out? You know what I mean? Like, fucking hell, man. What do you say we get you settled in? True colors. So, this is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. Oh, that's all we With days. soot all over their faces? Exactly. Do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. Silver mine? And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Based? Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Mm hmm Sounds like it. Who's got a gun ready to fire at the same Look time as the blast goes off? Jed! Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Hey, Jed. Buddy, hell, will you listen to this horse shit? I'm gonna fuck your son. His bossy means. You own the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. Oh, maybe I'm not gonna. It's good to meet you, Alex. Hey, Jed. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit. You know that? <laughs> he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. <laughs> just about same. I was excited family. to see him too. Guess we're an almost <laughs> most wet yourself kind of family. <laughs> Is this flirting? I like her. Yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. That was a good joke, he but I'm gonna need three yet? more dad tier puns before I let you sleep with me. You do me. not want to get this guy started. Okay. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Loquacious. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind Jed. Hey, is Jed signal? Sig so, sing signal. Single? Spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. 
I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. <laughs> All right, that was actually good. <laughs> could could we let see so the final say instead of full democracy? We want to see if you go against chat. Let's see what it even looks like then. Let's see. Suggestion only. All right. Shit, man. Oh, this place is lit. Is this where we're staying? This is nice. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. Best you could do? It's it's really nice. What do you mean best you could do? When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Seriously, this is great. And the best part is... It's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. What do you mean mine? I love it. Okay. Well, I love it, but like, what do you mean mine? You're just giving me a place? Is this going to be like mean? Okay, let's go ahead. What exactly do you mean this is mine? It's this thing where people have places they live. We call them homes. Oh, I can shit here. I mean it. I want you to have a fresh start here. Gabe. Do you, have, do you have a bidet? I... Plunger? Thank you. Fire extinguisher? You got Smoke it. alarm? Just promise me you don't throw too many keggers at end in surprise fires. Water purification tablets? Kill me if that happens again. Sure thing. <laughs> Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just... You look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Alex is yeah. rude. Do I look how you expected? You're still you. Didn't expect the beard. I honestly didn't expect you to have a beard. It's good though. Oh, well, they didn't tell you? When you move to Colorado, you automatically get an amazing beard. True! Pretentious Colors. knowledge of craft beers. And a Subaru. Funny. I didn't get any of those things. Don't worry. I will stop at nothing Look, um, to get you your very own Colorado welcome kit. <laughs> Good. Because I actually got you something. Wait. What? You gave us a, an apartment. We're giving you a record. Surprise. This is the word. You have an Wait, arcade this? cabinet? This is the album I requested. I know, I'm good. I was gonna get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. Can't wait to not hear anything. Here we go. I'm waking up. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, maybe I can play some music. get over this feels just like old times no oh, no stop that i can't it's too late Bro. <laughs> oh. 
lifetime of practice. <laughs> Your turn. Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Dude, I promise you've got it all wrong. Tell, Tell me why flowers. I shouldn't kick your ass right ah! now. No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here. It's not my place, Mac. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you. Okay, so emotions can knock us down? This is a weakness, not a power. Dude, you're just beating him up in front of a weakness. Okay. Stay! Stay! The fuck! The fuck! Away from her! Away from him! of nature. Let's put it back on. Alex, stop! Stop! Alex! Gabe, I didn't... Y you are... It's okay. You are way too calm. All right. So if someone is killing someone nearby and she senses it, she just goes full Joe Dark? What the hell? Wait, was was this a real scene? Did that really just happen? And I don't mean like did that just happen in a Marvel way? I mean like in the, like like in a Charles Dickens way. Like did that actually really just happen? Like that wasn't just like her sensing what was about to happen. Like, no, that, that okay. This is fucking psycho. Dude, you just beat the shit out of fucking Gabe. You could both go fuck yourselves. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. So she's the Hulk. Fuck. Okay, so this power sucks. And I mean, it sucks. It sucks for her. It might be interesting for us for a story, like it, like that. The jury saw on that. But this power sucks. Wait, Gabe. Alex. It's fine. Bro, she just saved you. I gotta go stop my shift. We're not gonna. T we're not. We're not gonna talk about what just happened. Really? Maybe he's scared. Great. Rules of nature.
I'm okay. Does it give her, like, strength as well? Is she stronger when she goes through that? Huh. I'm okay. She might fly next. Empath yourself in the mirror. I'm okay. You enjoying it so far? Surprisingly, yes, I am enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying it more at this stage than I was any of the other Life is Strange games so far. I, I'm I'm uh, I'm vibing with this so far. I guess I might as well unpack. <gasps> Ryan! Hey Ryan. Hey Alex, this is Ryan. It was really nice meeting you at the record store. Looking forward to talking more later. Hey Alex, Ryan here. Nice meeting you too. Sounds good. Alright. Gabe always wanted a bike like this. And now it's mine. Mine haunt. Okay. How did he get this up here? Crane. Is that beer? Put it in the fridge. Gab, Ethan, Gab, Gab. Sf, sf. Oh my god, there's a game in here. Up, down, left, right, jump. Uh, what? Why is it like D-pad for... Kill the ghost if I have this on. Really about tea or coffee? Coffee. Coffee. Thank you very much. That's me. No, not your food. jump in them? Probably not, right? Oh, I can. I'm, I'm stunned. What? Oh, you can jump off. Okay. This is going so well. Can I just leave? Probably, right? Do I have to get all the coins? Oh no! 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 Oh, that was lame! Checkmate it there, nothing I could do. Really makes you feel like you're playing Elden Ring. There's fall damage? How do I get up there? That's a tight jump for you. 
That's pretty fun. Gabe looks like he fits right in. Oh man, Gabe used to crush me, jerk. Are we really not gonna think about what happens? But it looks like Mr. John Chen left San Miguel County about six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. Have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no. Hey, don't. <sighs> how can you feel, how can an empath feel emotions on a fucking object, chat? If she is empathy, she's empathy, she's an empath plus something else. Is that a sword? We didn't even get to finish the song. Emotional residue? I don't think that's a real thing. Charlotte Being an empath this? is, though, because I am one Gabe myself. mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so personal. It's pretty good, actually. Huh. It I don't really believe you. I already knew that. Since I read these. Just empath things. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Oh, man. The first one was better, but Dino Racer 2 is still pretty good. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? Rachel Amber? Okay, so do I have to search every area to see what I can interact with? Because that's going to get old. The term for it is psychometric. Hey, hey, Balder! Hey, Balder! It's Monday. It's Monday! You got that plunger? Did you at least get a fire extinguisher? You at homework, my dude? What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. I almost fell asleep at work because you were up late researching what kind of plunger and fire extinguisher to get, base, but you went through with it, right? Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. Gabe brushing up on comics and art. Really going the extra Walrus is right. I didn't get a Charlie. plunger. Did you at least get a fire extinguisher? Everyone in chat, at literally every single person that is in chat, if you do not have a fire extinguisher, your homework assignment is to get a fucking fire extinguisher. All right? I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Everyone should have a fire extinguisher. You should also have a plunger. Fire extinguisher is even more important. Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. Oh, I'm wearing that exact I shirt right now. In front of him and Steph. Me and Ryan, man. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? Joe is shilling for big extinguisher. I'm actually not. I think you should get a small fire extinguisher. You don't need to get a big one. Little portable one is fine. No way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. Who doesn't have a... Who doesn't have a plunger? Uh, apparently, everyone that lives in Scandinavia. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. Plot twist, they actually are sleeping together. Miss Leith, your application for CIT's 2019 Summer Programming Launchpad has been reviewed, and we are pleased to inform you that you have been selected to move forward with the interview stage. Someone for admissions will be in touch in the next several days to schedule your interview. Congratulations and good luck. Gabe, ah, it's happening. Please, 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 please help, 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 help. 
I still doubt you could clog my toilet. I could clog anyone's toilet. Alex. Do I want to know? With toilet paper. Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Okay. Loretta Vance, program manager, child placement and welfare. Okay, what happened here? Anita and Eduardo. <laughs> they were one of the good ones. When they were when the when Gabe and uh, Alex were kids, did um did Alex like spill paint on the neighbor and then they got into a fight and then Gabe pushed him and he fell over and then a cop showed up and then their dad ran out and then the cop shot his dad and then instead of running away they just waited and then they went to into the police and they explained everything and then um and then Alex was put into foster care because they got split up and now this is what's happening at the end Eduardo and I were very happy to hear from you we are glad to see you are doing so well after all these years Colorado is very far away sadly it was difficult to keep talking with Alex that's she was taken into the system. We don't know where she lives now. Here's the phone number for the agency. Maybe they can help. Line only available third Wednesday of month. What? Try human services, child welfare. Wish you luck in finding her. Best the morals wow. is. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. Old number. Would it really be that hard to find someone after they go into the system like that when you're siblings? I guess so. I don't know anything about this. Like, this, like, in the 2000s? The system just loses people, even if they're still in the system? None of them. Let's go with this one. Oh God, Shoo Shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. Yep. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Why did you think that? We've seen things, haven't we, Shu Shu? Oh yeah. The fires we've started, man. Ethan's really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. No. The tunnel to Monster Stronghold of the Demonheim collapsed. <gasps> I'll have to find another way in. The uniform of the city guard, long dead from the looks of it. Blood? The trail seems to end here, unless... Hollow. Aha, he must have crawled through here. The corpse of, the, of a cloud serpent. It must have crashed through the ceiling. Perhaps if I can reach higher ground, I can find the secret entrance. Your flying days are over, cloud serpent, but you still may be of use to me. That glow beyond the peak. That must be the stronghold's back gate. Oh man. Better story in Life is Strange too. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. Hey Alex, what's up? You still at Helping Hands? Just so you know, I'm going to delete my accounts on the low for a while. I hooked up with this asshole a couple times for a place to stay and now he's harassing me. Also, I'm leaving Burnside. The supervisor is a racist and keeps accusing me of dealing. I'll hit you up if I find a new situation. Honestly, I'm running out of options, but you know me. I'll get creative. By the way, want to buy some drugs? Anyway, I know you're good. Is Lauren still there? Remember when you fucked her up? Lol, miss your dumbass. X Zo Sydney. At least she cared. More than I can say for most. 
Dear Alex, I wouldn't blame you if you threw this letter out even before opening it. If you're reading this, thank you for giving me a chance to apologize. I wasn't ready. I wasn't cut out for being a foster parent. The stress, the arguments, the shouting was too much for me, especially at my age. I should have known better. I'm sorry if I made things worse for you. Good luck out there. Sincerely, Miss August. Wow, like super naturally self-aware. Holy I shit. I really wish those meds had worked. Abigail Lynn, MD, patient name Alex Chen. Alprazolam? Er, six milligrams? Chelsea. Never the rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Dear Alex, happy birthday. Here's hoping you're having an absolutely fabulous day and that you don't have to deal with a single shitty thing from sun up to sundown, smiley face. Real talk though, I wanted to thank you for all the things you've done for me since we met. I felt safe and happy and even loved when you're around. Pretty unusual for people like us, right? Anyway, thank you for being you, for being my friend, for the way you beat Harley's ass, for letting me wear all your clothes even when I don't ask. I don't want to sound like a loser, but you're basically the only good thing in here. Love, Chelsea. And then she... Oh, okay. Right, I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? Nope. A high school dropout, a guy who went to a fucking juvie, wants to be your study buddy? Whoa. What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my God, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. Crazy how much we've changed. Is that the same photo just developed twice? Yeah, looks like it. Hates her dad. Hates him. This is an interesting way to unpack everything, so you get to see it. My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. Now we're up to three. Dear journal, Alex here. Tessa anger, Isabel anguish. So. If she experiences a high amount of anguish, she said... Yeah, alright, so she, she must have been in a really bad place after that, alright. Mac Anger. It all started with a, with a knock. I think I felt something off before Gabe even opened the door, like something was slipping under the frame, something red, something raw. Then there's Mac, and that familiar feeling of dread that always comes when I know I'm losing control, and no matter how hard I fight it, it just keeps coming until my blood is a running boil. Then, the part where my whole body has already made the choice to hurt someone, and it's going to happen, and no one can make me stop. Mac's anger felt hot, and dizzy, and also a little bit afraid. Really, it was all about Riley. Really, Riley. Red rage relief. I thought of her with someone else. I thought of her with anyone else. It was under his skin, burning. That feeling, like hot cords grinding around behind your ribs, is one of the most ex exhausting feelings in the world. It's such a, a relief when it's over. When you're... Your you are ears stop ringing and sick sick I don't know and your heart slows down from hummingbird to lazy jackhammer it's such a relief too bad it cost gave a punch in the mouth how do you apologize for something like that these threads that bind us up they burn and weave instead inside my ribs they hurt until you leave who knew the world okay so um Mac is giving me some big Nathan vibes. Ugh. I'll finish this later. She mistyped the word get her ass. Post your breaking bad gifts. <gasps> Mistype a word. Ridicule this user. Man, Gabe is just the best brother. Holy shit. No fucking way. Here's Kurt Cobain's guitar. 
Here's a little something to say. Welcome home. Can't wait to hear you shred. G. Rules of nature. I'm waking up. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? Is that what she always says? Headphones, if a strong emotion comes in, she can put music on and that kind of calms her or something? Because that would make sense. Drown it out. What? What? How could this be copyright? Apparently the song she's actually playing is Creep by Radiohead. Oh, this is way better then. Alright, I think, I think she's done. Surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not going to let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Is he still down there? Crack. Gabe was still trying to find dad when he got here. Okay, is this an empath thing? I'm too normie to understand. How does the crack make you think that he was still trying to find his dad? Alright, because he got mad and kicked the wall, like, I can't go upstairs? Oh man, I like this staircase. What's up there? That was the first empath thing you tried. Oh, I thought it was the piece of paper on the floor I did it on. Okay, that makes sense. Sorry, my bad. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Well, looks pretty nasty right about here. So, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Oh, don't you know it. Dad... I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. 
It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows Ryan's what he's doing. For sure, you just right? go with him. Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I'll bartend for you. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Fuck. I don't know. Falling, rising. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Today's been a roller coaster so far. I can imagine. It's going up my ass. Thank you, Chatter. Thank you for sharing. I heard Ethan gave Most you an sane issue with Twitch Chatter. He obviously thinks you're really cool. Cooler than Gabe. He's cooler, cooler than Gabe. But does he think I'm cooler than Gabe? I'd say you have a shot. Gabe plays dirty, though. Like, he secretly teaches Ethan to swear. By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope you won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. We didn't tell him we came for you. Oh, we beef did. Beef pie okay. special. Watch the gravy. Whoa, Jeff, you guys you have, have beef to. pie? Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. I love beef no pie. No starving artist on my watch. Yeah. All right, this guy's a bro. I do have to get going. Oh God, my son's a I'm killer. I'm making some pieces for well, the spring festival we're gonna have to take and they have down. to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking Did forward to getting to know you. Is made out yeah. Of people. Same. Don't think about how you made that beef Bye. out of people. For there might be a telepath yep. around. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Just put it on your head. Go for some though. I do love my people pie. Oh no, don't think about it. He stayed at the bar? Why is Joe doing a Justin Roiland impression? You know what? Fuck you! So I'm short-staffed at the moment. I wasn't! Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... A little bit. Go with Gabe's story. Come clean! I think we should come clean to, 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 to Jed. I think Jed would understand. It's not like we're not gonna get the job if we're if we're fucking, you know, whatever, right? Okay, not a lot of you are voting. What the hell? Vote there's over two thousand of you, only three hundred of you fucking come on. I agree with chat. Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. Yeah. Oh, but look at a sweet tat. I would love the work. If experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now. And we keep it informal around here. Okay. More people voted when it was when it was fucking in full democracy. When it was full democracy. It's because you need an extension to vote so people don't want to buy that. You don't need the extension. It, it shows up on the screen. Look, look at the screen. There's a little fucking thing on the side of the screen, and it's just there. You just have to click on it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to download shit. No extensions. That's the... What do you mean there isn't? Just click on the thing on the screen! Hey. Thanks. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It doesn't work on mobile? Okay. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. So I'm serving drinks. <gasps> Don't think about it. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with dad. He's come a long way. 
pee break. Uh, is this thing timed or no? Can I take my time doing this shit? Probably, right? I don't want to get in trouble with Jed. He's my dad. And future husband and father-in-law. Like, wh what are we doing? Oh it's not time, we're fine. Alright, let's take a break then. We're two hours, let's go pee. Back in five. Ducky and Diane probably want to order some food. I should check on those people in the booth. Ducky and Diane. All right, uh, so let me go to Dragon's Den. How's it going, Dragon's Den? So my, my understanding of how you're supposed to vote is that you will mouse over the, the, the stream and there's gonna be a little square NX widget that pops out on the right-hand side. 
you click on that and you might have to like say like allow or whatever or allow overlay and then on the left hand side of the screen from then on whenever a vote comes up you can click on one of the options you don't have to do it in chat you don't have to do anything else if you cannot see the little square annex widget thing then maybe you need to allow overlays on your account or on your stream or something like i don't think you need to specifically download any extension or anything else like that i think it's just like like because i've gone on um uh, whatchamacallit, I've gone on some of the Game Award streams where they've had stuff like this, and I have never had to, like, manually turn any of those on or anything. It's just been there. Uh, it may not work on mobile, though. It's possible that you might have turned it off and in the past, and now have to, might have to turn it back on, but I think uh, it is it is on by... Uh, by default. Also, if for whatever reason your screen is too small, so like if I if I um, if I compress my window right now on my screen, eventually it'll pop up with a warning and it says video frame too small hiding extension. So if you expand your screen or if you full screen on your phone, maybe it'll show up. I don't know. That might work, but you might have to uh, make your screen bigger in order to see it. The muffled music will probably get the video claimed on YouTube. Well, what can I do about that? Like, if it's... I can't mute all the music. Like, I'm trusting the game that they're only they're only playing music that isn't copyright. Copy, copyright. I'm gonna choose to believe this isn't about me. Enough with all the transplants moving here. I don't care if it's good for the economy. I miss Haven the way it used to be. It'd be fine if any of them knew how to drive, especially in the snow or at night. Say, Mike, if I remember right, you yourself came came out here from Jersey just a couple years ago. Yeah, and then look how downhill everything's gone since then. Own oh, self. So. All right. <laughs> I like this Mike guy. Lee's flowers. Come volunteers to help this year's spring festival. Uh. Beers, all right. Where's the uh, journal? No. Um, oh, things to do. It's on the right. Memories. Crack. Riley letter. Check on Ducky and Diane. Check on staff. Clear the table in the back. All right. Little ditty about Ducky and Diane. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chen. Here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. Is this I'm the mayor? Reginald McAllister, the third, Ducky, to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman His is, voice is familiar. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming. Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're Man. from Portland, right? Gabe is such an angel. I moved here from DC six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? Kind of bizarre, kind of perfect, kind of bizarre. I've been here one day and I've already hit my hug quota for the year. <laughs> She's funny. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms. And my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. Pie special with fries, cheeseburger with mushrooms. My dad was in the service. Hey, Jed. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. Why didn't we write it down? Uh, cheeseburger with mushrooms. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Yeah, it's special. Uh-huh, and? Uh, pie special with fries. One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? 
Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Turn around, he already has it, drinking it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Schmoozing? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. What the fuck? That's oh, not my job. If you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Yeah, I have to find it. What does Krause mean? It means schmoozing. Wow. Tetanus anyone? I hope Ryan's got better supplies. Typhoon's not a bad company once you get used to how they operate. Oh, is that really Ryan? Right. Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Takes a Starting over from scratch like this? Huh? Fucking terrifying yeah, is what it is. You're telling me. Things? It's just so... What was that? I don't know. <laughs> Idiosyncratic. My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. Rattlesnake bites see Ryan Lucan. For rattlesnake shots see Jed Lucan. For rattlesnakes, see them both. For normal snakes, only forty-five bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. Nice, big horn sheep. That looks radioactive. I'm waking up. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey, just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. I'm working. I'm working. I'm working? Who are you sitting with? So are you um here with somebody? Or That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went Loves to get first Gabe, aid. Man. Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Lucan family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a Okay, so so either either Ryan is gonna die and Gabe is trouble, or Gabe is gonna die and Ryan is trouble. However, I hope that either neither of them dies or both of them die. That would be more interesting. Don't do the obvious thing here. Yeah. Back when he was a minor, he said I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Yeah. Sorry, She's working. Jed. Wait, what's that shirt? Rich. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. What are you working on? Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no. It's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Unfortunately. Sure. Live action role play, right? Fantasy fighting in real life? Yep. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Nope. I'm no actor. Uh -huh. It sounds cool, but I'm sure I'd feel too self-conscious doing it. That's fair. Playing with the right people helps, though. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song guess wrong you have to take the shot it's going to be really hard to guess the song Ryan you and can't I are going fucking to play. hear it you want to take his place sure dude you're on <laughs> yes hey what's the song 
Silence. So, I'll pick a song. Spoiler. You have five yes or no questions. They're all rules of nature. Guess it. Okay. <laughs> Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. What? I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. I don't. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand the game. Okay, n none of these have copyright. <laughs> Any punctuation. Is there any punctuation in the song title? Nope. No. Okay. God. Has the band name. Is the band name on the cover? Yep. <gasps> Alright. Theodiceus. I was I was saying Boo Arns. <laughs> What? All right, that really doesn't narrow it down, does it? Uh, people on cover. There are people on the cover. No. No. All right. Yeah, no. No. You've got two questions left. Okay, so people on the cover, no people on the cover, but it has the band name. All right, so it could be ampersand. Okay. Uh hell um four words or more curse word so does the song title have a curse word in it <laughs> a curse word would that offend you yes answer the question <laughs> no curse words in the title ma'am all right it's not Last that one question. then it's not yeah. that one all right i know all right, it's not that one all right so there does that count as people that counts as people right so it's not that one Okay, it could be that one. It could be Theodosius. It's not that. It's not that. The fuckadelics kiss up and shut me. I mean, the fuckadelics is kind of swear. So it could be that one. So it's down to the fuckadelics and Theodosius. That's a person. That's a person. That's a person. That's not. So it could be. G line transfer. Fuck, it could be minded. There's so many! Pers What's a personal question? Get How's that gonna help me? Okay. Is that a person? <laughs> Why do you like it? Long time fan, when did you last hear it? That's not gonna help me! Song title, four words or more, band name questions, has a symbol, one word, has a person's name. <sighs> okay, one word is not gonna help me because there's lots of one words, right? Has a symbol. Has a symbol, has a person's name. All right, that's gonna be hard to, to, to think of, right? Okay, that's not a person. I wish I could remove some of them so I could just see. Okay, one word. Let's go with it. One word. Is the band name only one word? It is more than one word. <gasps> mm -hmm. All right, we're that's back in. Five. We're back in. Ready to guess? We're back in. All right, yeah. it's it's not. Let it's me look through one this, last it's time. It's not that one. It's Here's not that name. one. It's not a one-word band name. No curse words in the song title. Could be that one. No punctuation in the song title. No okay. people on the cover. Is damn the a curse word. Is on the cover. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. Is damn a curse word. Okay, it can't be that one. There's a person on the cover, there's no title on the cover. Alright. Is fuckadelics a No, that's more than one word. Okay, it could be the fuckadelics. Okay. 
can't be that. I think it's the fuckadelics chat. I think it has to be the fuckadelics. Right? It's gotta be. It's gotta be the fuckadelics. Are you trying- What do you mean? It is more than one- Fuckadelics is more than one word! Fuckadelics two words! The and fuckadelics! No curse words- There's no curse words in the song title! Not in the- In fucking- In the- In the- In the name of the fucking band. It's this one. <laughs> Fuck. Nice Get one. fucked, chat! <clears throat> Get fucked! Guess I'm drinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey. Thanks for playing. Let's I'm get really cracking. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find sure, Ducky's I'm prized. Old. By the way, I looked through a, a couple of the Jads uh Year awards, and I can't believe Bekoi Off Snow won Chan of the Year. That was actually pretty fun. It's getting better for sure. What a class act! Bekoi Off Snow beat out Fido Chan. Are you are you insane? By a majority vote, like like fifty percent. What the hell? Oh, hey, someone made a course about my life. <laughs> All right, so let's go upstairs and get the, the bottle. Fight, not Fido, Fito, Fito Chan. Faffing about in the open world Chan. All right. Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. Fido, my beloved. This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. My, my, Miss American Pie. It's in the fridge, right? I don't keep my whiskey in the fridge, but maybe it's in the fridge. Oh, <gasps> cabinet. Ooh, now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey though. Duck soup? What the hell is this music? I wish this was copyright claimed. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Is it up here? Sorry, my contacts bothering me. It happens a lot lately. I need to give them like a, a long break. Oh, uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh oh. You don't have rewind powers, Alex. Watch out. Nope. Nothing. What? No craft rye up there. Why contacts instead of glasses while gaming? Because I don't like wearing my glasses. They just kind of annoy me. Gabe's got a pretty fancy collection. I don't like having something on my face. Oh, let's sit on the couch and think. More than the context building. Yeah, if it keeps happening, I'm gonna have to go with it, but like, mm. Thought about doing laser, maybe one day, yeah. <laughs> Just worried. What if I'm like one of the 
0.1% of people that get a bad lasering. Oh, it just takes us down there. Nice. Found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? Really? My couch now. Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. My pleasure. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. Wouldn't want you to mess it up. Before I let you drink this, we have to go to the jukebox to and Miss play. Miss Alex Chen. Guess the a most song. tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. Really? We're just drinking on the job. All right, cool. Oh, God. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> hey, Jed. Today's specials, venison and leek pie. Something, Denver omelet. Rocky Mountain Oysters, Jalapeno Poppers. Oh man, you got some poppers? You got some J poppers? Broccoli soup. Venison Ugh. and leek pie. I need to try that. Ugh. Still want to hit the trails later? This one's from yesterday. Damn. I wonder if the bullet's still in there. Rest in peace, mister. Max could rewind that out. Guess these were for mining. Maybe I'll see a circus one day. Once I'm better with crowds. Is there anything this woman can't do? Talk to Nathan Prescott. President, uh, Principal Shit. Wells. Now Max scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Dispensary coupons. Need to go there later. Coupons for weed. What a time to be alive. Dude, weed, yeah! How mysterious. On this site, Amelia Goldstein operated a bed and breakfast for nine years, known for its beautiful rooftop garden. She died at the age of 32 of influenza. Though married shortly before her death, the identity of, the identity of her husband remains a mystery. It's Judd for sure. Yeesh. Glad I'm not a 19th century Tadboard miner. board used in Teller Mine around 1880. Each miner removed his check tag as he entered the mine and replaced it on the board when he had safely exited. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? Okay, are you actually going to be reasonable now? Because I would like it if it was like, Hey, I'm actually just really insecure. I'm sorry that we had a fight. I know I'm wrong. I shouldn't fly off the handle. Instead of just being like, Hey, I'm just a dickhead for all five episodes. What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Mainly you. <sighs> Where are you going with this? Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> you want me to lie. You're awful. You want me to lie? So you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I think we're gonna vote. I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. Who 
What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Man, she's so gross. I don't like her. Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. <gasps> oh no. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About, uh, what? He's About evil. you. God damn it. About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay, so clearly the game is going to let us have a third option, right? Where we try to mend fences and be like, yeah, he did come over and start shit, but you know what? I think he's just really insecure or whatever. It's not going to be like completely throw him under the bus or take over driving the bus for him, right? There's no way. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay, um, not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh God, were you there too? The crowd shows call out Max bullshit. Good thing it's not on democracy mode anymore. Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. And what then I beat the fuck out of him. I did that. Well, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait, wait, are you, are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Damn, you can't open a YouTube video with that. Alex Chen? Uh. Hey. Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? Well. Yeah, but I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna take you in. Look, look immediately right now. Okay. For questioning. All right. What about Matt? Am I under arrest? Because if not, I'm not coming. Are you saying I'm under arrest? I'm under arrest. Because if not, I'm not coming. <laughs> your face. <laughs> Am I being detained? You should see your face. Am I being detained? Jeez. Oh, <laughs> No, oh, I'm only kidding. No, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> even I just like to prank. <laughs> yeah, very funny. But am I being detained though? Because if not, I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Take his gun. Can I grab his drink? dick? Um, grab his maybe. dick and twist. I'm working right now. Well. I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? You know what? You know what's really great about that scene? Is if that was in any of the previous Life is Strange games, that would have been legit. We really would have gone to the police station, and it really would have been questioning. And it really been like, and I would just be like, woo, 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 what the fuck is this? Arachnoid? Ass. Nice. Nice. Left, right, fire. Alright. Okay, what am I doing? Is it just breakout? 
Oh no. Yeah. No! <laughs> no, no, no. Oh shit. I'm having fun. Man, I haven't played this game in... Fuck, like 20 years? No, even more than that. Oh no! Years old. I, I'm not saying I played this game when it first came out. I don't know when this game first came out, but I played Breakout, yeah. On the Atari S. Ooh. On the Atari STE, I played Breakout. Okay, no, this is, makes it. It's objectively worse now, because it just takes longer to fucking lame your shots and shit. I'm just holding the button down. I can't. Yay! Alright, this is taking a while, huh? This is the stream, everybody. I gotta beat ass. Oh, man. You see that? You can't teach that. That's just skill. That's just, just raw skill. Raw talent. Raw skill. Shit. Give me the ones with all the balls again. Yeah, thank you. We did it. All right. Okay, we only see one more level, and we, and we beat we beat an ass to score, right? Shit, that was a freebie, and we fucked it up. What's ass's end game? This one's tricky. Yay! 
Come on, you little shits! This is very annoying. I don't like this. It really is, actually. That's the one. No! Fucking hell, man. Oh no! Okay, what now? Oh, we're getting points! Oh, this is going so well. <gasps> oh! No! Thoughts on breakout? Kind of sucks. Oh, I can shoot? Breakout critique. I think if you get like every five bounces, you should get another ball. It's it's nice to have more balls. Is this better or worse? Life is strange. It's infinitely better. So what what do you all think? Oh shit! to the right! That was weird! Yeah! Oh, for fuck's sake! No! Why is this so hard? Come on! No! It's better to go this side, right? It's better to go from the left? Fuck. 
fucking hell. All right, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. What the shit, man? <laughs> Gonna fucking die to break out. Yes! Finally! Alright, next level. Right there. No! No! Okay, a little bit, a little, like right there, right? A little bit to the right. Yes! Well, sh shit. Yes! Who designed this shit? This sucks! All right, we have the new high score, so I don't care. Let's just go for it. All right, I can't break the, the one in the, I can, I can break it. All right, why can't my bullet go through? Oh, it can go through, that's weird. The ass has been defeated. Punished ass. Okay, can I leave the game now? Oh, well, we can leave the game now. Okay. Alright, we got the new high score. Yes! Alright. Wait, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I want to pick the name! I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. That's some bullshit. See, Harmon must be Charlotte. This is really cool. Absolute bullshit. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Nineteen lives? Jed is a real hero. Okay, when is something going to happen? There you have it. Christ, she did that to that guy's face? It's steering clear. Aw, I'm already making friends. Aw. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak oh, of the devil. Nice. How you feeling? Is this like the great. uniform? Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? For real. A little bit. We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. In my roof suit. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Phone. Official two hour warning. My block. Yeah, all the people I've blocked. <laughs> Haven has an indie movie theater. Impressive. Of course it does. 
Which was the best Living Dead movie? Night, Day, Land, Diary, Come See, Our Marathon of the Dead, to watch them all on the side for yourself. Tickets are 15 online and 22 at the door. Stupid debate, Dawn of the Dead was obviously the best. Have you seen Survival of the Dead? Nope, and neither has anyone else. I don't think Land of the Dead gets enough credit. Let's face it, none of the sequels lived up to the Land of the Living Dead. Literally, how dare you? Dear God, what have we done? I think I see a lot more of the jukebox game in my PSA, future. don't play the jukebox game with Alex Chen. Really? We're, this, this got 14 likes. 14 likes. What is this face she's making? Unless you really like terrible booze, I'm sure you'll develop a taste for it. Oh, we're clapping back! Have you have your fun now, but no, revenge is bedazzled, kiwi, snaps, shot, best serve cold. I've never been more proud. That's wow. Charlotte's dispensary. She seems cool. Charlotte has a dispensary as well? Okay. Ryan seems like a sweet guy. Yeah. Let me know beforehand if you want to look for her in the woods, okay? I can help. All right, thanks, Ryan. And then when we're looking for your dog, that's when I strike. Whoa! Wait, this person that's looking for the dog might be a telepath. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. I feel like Alex is a lot more realistically intentionally awkward than Max, probably because of the facial animations. What do you think? <laughs> uh, I like Alex a lot more than Max so far. But both of them are infinitely better than Chloe and Sean. They went with the mind reading power so they wouldn't have to put effort into the facial animations. And then they still did that though. How's your jaw? Silent treatment? How's your jaw? How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Brewski? Hell yeah. Can we get a recap? Alex Chen and, and Gabe Chen are brother and sister. They grew up with their parents and then something happened and they had to go into foster care. Gabe has spent years looking for a sister, finally did, and now she's come to live with him. Um, she was in some sort of care home for... I don't know what exactly, but it seems like she has issues controlling her emotions, and the reason she has issues controlling her emotions is because she has the power to read people's thoughts and feelings. Um, if someone is experiencing a very powerful emotion nearby, it can infect her and take over and make her feel the same way. So when some guy showed up accusing her brother of cheating, of, of, uh, of fucking his girlfriend, he was really mad, started hitting him. Then Alex got the same anger and went and beat the shit out of him. And then when Gabe tried to stop her sister from like, like actually like beating him to death, she turned around and was still angry and punched him in the face. And now this, this is where we are now, pretty much. What? I... Hidden cooler. Did you rehearse that move? Did you rehearse that move? No. Yes. Only in my mind. <laughs> oh, I do a lot so, of things in my mind, too. Need a manager for your underground cage Can fighting career? Can you do all that, but make them all animals? Once, there was a family of wolves. A big brother wolf, and a younger sister wolf and a father wolf, and a mother wolf. But one day... Really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. She was a super wolf. Now that we're talking about it... I guess I never realized. That I can kick your ass? That I'm a crazy person? That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. You haven't seen her in a long time, bro. What are you talking about? I never about? realized what your life must have been like. On, on your own. It was fine. 
You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Yeah, I've killed people. My best friend is Ralph. I fought a lot. Didn't you go to Juvie? Didn't you go to Juvie? Isn't that like... prison? Yeah. That was the hardest time of my life. Some days that... I didn't think I'd make it out. But I get the feeling you've been through worse. Do 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 I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. Open up to Gabe. Choose. I want to talk to Gabe. But what can I even say right now to Just explain tell what him. happened with Mac? Uh, actually... Actually... This is hard. Okay, vote. No vote? Did it break? No vote? Does it not matter? See, I feel like in these kind of situations, people just need to communicate and talk. However, she just came out of a bad place. She's got a new home. He gave her his old place, you know, the reconnecting. Why jeopardize that? But no, let's tell him. Tell him about your power. Why was that not a voted choice? That's weird. There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. Yeah, everyone can do that. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry Wait, what? or Credits sad roll. or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened for a long time. <sighs> like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. Don't need to be empath that. for that. He wasn't just angry at you, he's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Is this Riley self-diagnosed, Alex? Are you one of those people? Imagine, imagine someone telling you that they can fly, and then they fly right in front of you, and you're like, did you self-diagnose this flying ability? Probably go see a doctor, don't you think? Maybe you're not flying. Did you, just, did you just read a Wikipedia article about Superman, and because you think that you can fly, you just decide that you have this? Not really feeling that. Come on, don't be one of those people. No, I just feel it. Dude, when? No, I just feel it. No. No one told me that. I just... feel it. Sure, it's not just... you know... Normal? It's not just in my head, Gabe. Oh, okay. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? Doesn't work like that. What do you mean it doesn't work like that? It, it only works when it's relevant to the plot, Gabe. Sorry. It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. 
I'm feeling pretty strong emotion right now. My sister just told me that she is like possibly crazy and or has a superpower. I think I would be feeling a pretty strong emotion about that right now considering all the trouble I just went to bring her back into my life and gave her my apartment and she beat me up and I, I feel like I would have a lot of strong emotions. For okay. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. I like to kill people on the weekend and chop them up and put them in my pies I serve at my bar, but I don't feel very strongly about it. <laughs> Flying under the radar. Delightfully devilish, Jed. Does. You know what? My serial killing? I could take it or leave it. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> Lit. Sick. More like a super curse. Getting beat up and having no friends. That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay. Maybe superpowers is a bit strong. Couldn't she have just, like, flipped through all the album covers on the jukebox and then felt whenever, like, Steph was kind of, like, like felt a lurch or was kind of like, oh my god, she's looking at that one. Is she going to guess it right? And I'm going to have to drink this horrible drink. Like, come on! Let us use our fucking po It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is was a strong on another Steph level. Steph is super competitive. You can get in there. I mean, that's that's really special. Do people actually say dude? I say dude all the time. Oh, voting. Dude, dude, dude this gets a vote. Vote, 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 vote. Five, six, six votes. Special, broken. All right. Broken, get fucked, chat. Get fucked, chat. I'm not special, Gabe. I beat the shit out of people. I'm broken. Get fucked, chat. I'm not saying it's all sunshine and tulips, but you're strong. Sorry, so, someone someone says something. Please set the time back to 30 seconds. I don't have enough time. What do you mean you don't have enough time? Just to alt tab out from Path of Exile? Like, what are you doing? How many people want it back uh, back up to 30? You could turn this whole thing into something incredible. But it doesn't matter what's going on. Life sure is strange. I'm here for you. All right. Don't that, forget that. that. Once an episode, I will go against chat's voting. That's it. I got it on my system. How are your maps? I haven't played Path of Exile this season apart from a little bit at launch and that's it. I got really bored of it. The lead mechanic fucking sucks. So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, oh guitar. shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? Well, what do you think? I love it. I'm rusty. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey. Is Ethan up here? No. He was heading home. Oh. Uh he was, but oh. I haven't seen him in a while. Oh. oh, the mine! You don't think... Maybe? Fuck, maybe he did. The casino. What is it? I think he went up to the mountains. If he actually did, we need to move. Now. Let's go. Takes too long to, to craft gear in Path of Exile unless you have like a doctorate in it. Like, I try to do essence craft to get a good weapon, and I have like a guaranteed stat rolled in from a weapon that I want. And just like I pump in like like literally fifty essences into a, into a weapon, and I still have not got a second good stat on it. You know what I mean? And you need more than two typically. Like it's just it just takes too long. I wish there was more deterministic crafting in the game. What the fuck is this? 
It's a casino. Yeah, I, I like the gameplay. I like the collecting of it. I like all the different, like, uh, different Ethan? avenues of attack you can have with it. But, Ethan. uh, it's kind of, it's kind of boring when it comes to the actual crafting. It's too, too RNG based. And Harvest sucks on, now. Pick up, pick up. Alex. Getting some big until dawn uh, vibes here. This way. Alt tab looking at options, determining what options best, clicking and locking in the vote takes a long time. Don't judge me. Hey, you should just be watching the stream, and that's all wow. you're doing. Been a while since I was up here. I just trade for most of my gear. Well, that's the difference between me and you, Chatter. I'm SSF. Why don't you come here? How worried should we be? Should I be... SSF, by the I way. I don't know. Freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. They're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. How do you know when hey. someone plays solo cell find in Path good? of Exile? Don't worry, Charles they'll tell you. Losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. I legitimately do play solo cell find though now. I, I didn't before, but now that I understand the game more, I prefer to play solo cell find because if you don't, it just the game just becomes purely about efficiency, and you don't even have to engage with a lot of the systems and mechanics. Instead, you're just you just this is becoming Life is Strange two tier now. I'm not even talking about I'm not even talking about the game anymore. Um. Like it's just about efficiency and how much, how much, how many divines slash chaos or whatever exalts that you can make per hour to trade your way to gear. And sure, that becomes like a, 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 a definitely a um, a guaranteed path to get to where you got to go. But I feel like it takes away a lot of the excitement, and you spend way too much time just trading and just like going through the trade site and like people not answering your whispers and like and you not answering theirs because you get mad and you're like, well, if no one's answering me, I'm not answering them. Fuck them. You know, it just it's um. I don't, I don't like that part of the game, so I just prefer to play SSF. I, I can get the red maps by myself in SSF pretty easily. Always has been. That's where I got to this this Come league, on. and then I was Let's just like, yeah, fuck it. Like, I'm kind of bored. This kid. Can you imagine the shit no, we not, would not have caught from dad if we'd done anything like this? I'd have to try it. Hey. We're gonna find him. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. Of course. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Also, people sure. always reply to trade. In Ruthless, they do? Do they really? I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? So it didn't matter whether we told um, told them or not. Interesting. Zombie? How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? Are we going to get... Are there going to be zombies later? HS, HS, Senior Halloween Party 2K18. If you play hardcore in Path of Exile and you're not a masochist... You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> like, if you're a masochist and you get off on that shit, then okay, I understand why you do it. But if you're not a masochist and you play fucking hardcore, you're you're just an absolute moron. Will we though? Cool. A murder barn. Always online game that doesn't really run all that well to begin with, you know. All your internet provider has to do is sneeze and you might be out like fucking like 200 hours of time on your character. And all that gear is gone. And for what? For what? Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. My joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. You never want Maven Chan to step on you? I'm really bad at the very last Maven memory game. 
I'm like up, up until that point it's like super fucking easy but that last one there's too much shit flying around and usually my character's build has some particle effects and shit too and I just I just can't keep track of it you don't realize until you're up close game is so is poorly murdering. designed when it comes to like the real how you actually play it for that shit drinking. hey bro wanna get wasted at the old mine yeah bro you gonna play dabble for you? yeah probably Probably not as fun to ride in as they look. Anyway, enough about uh, Path of Exile. I got you. I got you. It's okay. You're okay. Jed. Oh, God. Uh, Helldiver. Oh, God, we're alive. Uh, His name is Helldiver? Is that everybody? I'm I sorry. Count. Jed was terrified. But he kept his cool and saved lives. I guess that's what makes him a hero. But ever since that day, after being trapped in the mines for so long, he developed a taste for human flesh. A taste he is spreading through the town, through his delicious pies. Leek isn't the vegetable, that's the name of the person he killed. Alex warned me I could have stopped this. I'm such a fucking fuck up. Gabe cares about Ethan so much. We have to find him. Hey Gabe, just want to know that I know how you're feeling right now because you have such a strong emotion that I'm using my powers as an empath in order to let you know. Even though, because the, the power only works when you're feeling a very strong emotion, basically just reading the situation and your body language and what you're saying and your facial expression, you know, if you had any, would be enough for me to do the exact same thing. So really my power is actually fucking useless. Actually, fu look, I'm invisible. That's a better power. depending on you. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. That's it? I'm glad he's here. That's it? Okay. Ooh. What happened okay. here? How did he get in there? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Okay. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. We don't think he's in there though, God. right? Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Uh oh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? It's gonna collapse. Nothing obvious. Maybe we should. Do you think Alex would be able to read Sean's emotions? Okay, with Sean, she would need the empath. empath yeah, his facial animations aren't, aren't good enough for her to get a read on that. Yeah, you you would need empathy for that for sure. Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. The silo. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at Did you just use your gate? special empathy powers to do that, uh, we should also Alex? Be able to get to it through the processing no. building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. We raise our drinks to Jed Lucan, who at this location on December 30th, 2008, pulled us out of hell. Okay. I mean, do you think that's why Helldiver took this job? Wow. Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... Come on, Ryan. Everyone 
everyone is depending on you. Yeah, Ryan. Wait, so... Did Ethan... Oh, man. I think there's like a side door back there. I don't know. I can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Does he know? Okay. Well, there's no way Ethan moved that, so he just slipped past it. You figured that out from a comic book. Well, uh, I would. Uh, I just... I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. John! Jason! Ethan must have come through here. Ethan. How did he get out? Is Ethan one of the most popular video game names? I'm 100% sure that if I picked up the receiver, there'd be like a demon voice on the other end. Let's do it. Helldiver. Anne? You okay? I'm sorry to call you at work. I just came home from the doctor. I couldn't wait for you to come home. I'm pregnant with Ryan. Baby doll. I, I'm pregnant, Jed. Yeah. Legalize it. Have I got some good news for you? Can we get? Can we just get over weed? Life is strange. Why? What? It's a long shot, but there's a couple disconnected wires in the box. Uh, a red one and a blue one. Go with red. It's always red. Okay. Well. Nope. Nothing. All right. Dang. Well, you tried. Kind of want to push all the buttons. Also, Kinda scared to push any of the buttons. Dead crow. Ugh. Let's hope omens aren't really a thing. Oh god, Max is here. How many times have I walked into that pillar? Ugh. Worse than sleeping on the ground. Nope. Thanar doesn't battle any bed bugs. He could, though. So much stuff just left behind. Free hugs. Yeah, it was worth a shot, I guess. Ethan must have passed through some other way. Let me see what I can figure out. Not sure if Ryan is a himbo or he's playing dumb to get away with uh, something. I'm not confident this is going to work. This thing has seen better days. Does anyone else think I'm not real? Wait, what's going on? If Ethan didn't get out through the door, how did he get out? Why can't I run? Oh, I can now. Well, I'm walking a little faster. Hi, scary old building. Please don't collapse while we're inside you. Thanks. Someone in someone thought I was a fake person and you were blaming a new a director. I don't know any directors now. Wasn't in the comic. That's true, therefore there's no way it could be relevant. Maybe it's full of Twinkies. Those never go bad. 
right? Everything's in the comic. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Holy shit, I almost didn't hear you. Oh wow, it's so loud. Okay, how did he get over that? Wasn't in the comic. We passed caution like an hour ago. Is that like another another town around here? Not in the comic. Yeah. Okay, not in the comic. This looks really dangerous. The silo. We're getting close. What the hell? He jumped onto it? Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Parkour. Yikes. Wait. Wait. He jumped from here to there? Maybe there's some way to open the door. I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Okay, how do I do that? So this place was a death trap when it was operational too. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alex and Ryan in the mine shaft. I'm guessing I got to hit the button with Ryan now, or no? I don't know what to do. Find a way out. All right. Oh, we got tweets. Something tells me those two weren't the best match. One of your neighbors has changed their relationship status. status. Riley Leith is now single. Oh man, this is extremely helpful. Landed a job. For getting your Mac day. ready on. Maybe this fresh start is still salvageable. Oh, I didn't realize we just had an official job. Okay. Again, it kind of veered to the right there. Yeah, what's that? I'm letting go of the controller. And then she moves a little bit. Woo. I don't think it is stick drift. Why isn't it happening every time if it's stick drift? Hmm. Switch controllers. I'm like gonna be going through like two, three game pads a year at this rate. All right, let's go through. No. Brian seems like he knows what he's doing. Does he? Glad he's here. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what to do. I thought I looked at everything. Did I miss a button? Have you been using the same Xbox controller for like a decade? No, I, I like get a new one every year almost. I go through so many game pads. 
There has to be a way to get that back door open. He... I guess there was a button up top that I missed. Is my PS5 controller still broken? Well, yeah, I haven't tried to fix it. I, I want to see if I can take it apart, maybe reset the spring or something. I don't know. Like, I don't know how to do that. Oh, chain hoist! Oh, couldn't interact with this before, I'm guessing. That's why. All Heads right. Up. You figured out the door. Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? Will wonders never cease? I'm not okay, but it's okay. Literally me. Whoa, how'd you get so here? Long. You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. You guys having a matching shirt? <laughs> We're too nice, Alex. She's so awkward, man. From the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just there, that's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. Oh no, not the ravine. Anything but the ravine. This kid's kind of dumb. Oh, my empath sense is tingling. Ethan! Huh? Alex! I'm scared! Of what? I can see that, because of my empath abilities. Ethan, if I didn't have them, I wouldn't know that you were scared. Hold on. Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get okay, you out of here. My powers is telling me that Ethan's really scared. Hang on. Damn, Ryan's getting scared too. Is he not? What a chat. Don't! Don't, 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 okay. don't. Ryan, what's the plan, Big His Mac? Fear is so strong. How are we getting him if back get over? It. It's no good. We're too heavy. Mom, spaghetti. Alex, you're gonna have to do it. Shit. I can't. What about me? Alex. Uh, are you sure? Um. This sounds like a job for someone with a big ladder. Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. Ooh. Into rope. Curiouser and curiouser. You okay? No. I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright. 
You sure? It's okay if you're not. Why don't they call the police? Because no, I think it's a prank. They like to prank each other here. No. <laughs> I actually they sure got me back. Say that. Oh, something of an empath myself. <laughs> Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. Yeah, gonna smash you're your fucking head good. off the side of the cliff as you're going over. Remember, slow is steady. Steady's fast. What? Piece what does cake. that? Mean? What does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? Piece oh damn. Cake. I like quite well, actually. I get it, thanks, Chatter. Yeah, so saying slow, steady, steady is fast because that's as fast as you can go. Ethan, like, I need you to calm enough. down. Okay. Can you breathe for me? Steady is I fast because come out here. Mm -hmm. I was fast so is better than falling stupid. over. We're fast, okay. fast. Hey. That's it's faster Focus. than falling over. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. The log fell. It's fine. It's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Gabe is our anchor. I've got really good balance. Gabe is our anchor. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, no. I can't move I if I three move. More good reasons You're not gonna fall, log with buddy. You. It doesn't matter. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. Time for an empath we reversal. Stay here, Ethan. We have to. It'll see me. Quick, Ryan. Ryan, give me some of your steady, calm confidence. I need to siphon that off of you, and I'll be a conduit and send it to him. Yeah, empath transfer. Oh no, but now Ryan's scared. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, fuck. What do you mean? I can't believe this is happening. What? 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 Woo! No. This is the worst idea. No. 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 Oh. I can do this. I can do this. Oh, I tried one thing and I'm all out of options. Time to use my empath ability to maybe lose control and fucking beat the shit out of a guy. And now I'm gonna get scared while I'm standing on a log. At least step off onto the platform with him. Oh my god. What's happening? It's like... I'm seeing the world through his eyes. I thought I could hurt the monster, but it's time to meet. I'm not just cool. feeling what Ethan feels. I'm seeing the world like he sees it. Yeah, I get it. I brought all this stuff. All this stuff. None, of None of it will save me. Board 
and would it be afraid, but he's just a story. This is real. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid of... I was thinking there was like a monster in the forest it and things were gonna get interesting, but no, it's just like. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. <sighs> oh well. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. Bold move there, Alex. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? That thing can't see us. Why is this an option? It can't see me. What? Bangle of vanishing, just like Ninth Warden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Then how can I see you? Doesn't make any sense. Also, I don't have any sisters. Oh. Take your comic books. What are we doing? Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. Just gonna leave a mess? <laughs> Meanwhile, across the log, Ryan is just killing gay. Okay, never mind. Keep <laughs> Just, just hack it away. <laughs> Not over yet. <laughs> oh god. Okay. One step at a time. What was that? So I, re I really like the yeah, presentation buddy. here. It's pretty cool. I'm still really scared. Yeah, me too, but we can do this, one step at a time. Okay. Do you think the log will break? I don't know, but if it does, I am gonna hold on to you so tight, okay? Okay. Taking a while, huh? No, it won't allow me to go backwards. Did she let go of him, really? Alright, now I'm gonna pop over to get his comic book. <laughs> Boodle G. Oh no, the blast! Oh, he would have died! Game? <laughs> Aren't you still tied to him? Oh no!
What the fuck? I hate Ryan now. I thought I could hunt the monsters. Achievement unlocked. Thank you for undercutting the moment, achievement system. Man, Ryan is the man, huh? Absolutely the right decision from Ryan there. Uh, oh, that's it. Okay, that was fairly short, actually. Alex told Gabe about Ethan's plans. Alex told Riley the truth about the fight. Alex told Game about her power. Alright. Alex shook Gabe's hand on the bridge. Alex advised Riley to show off in her interview. Did we? Alex put cool sunglasses on the gnome. Alex enjoyed a song in the record store. Alex told Ryan that Gabe was a badass. Alex rocked out with Gabe on the broom guitar. Alex looked on as Gabe jammed on the broom guitar. Alex found evidence of Gabe's search for her. Alex wasn't sure how she felt about Haven. Alex went along with Gabe's story. Alex told Jed she's never been a server. Alex told Gabe she loves the guitar. All right, so we're just we're just gonna be in line with everyone now for the because because chat is voting. Jed was impressed with Alex's performance as a server. Steph lost to Alex in the jukebox game. Ha ha ha! Look at all these losers. Riley broke up with Mac after the fight. R Riley and Mac are still together. Okay. Ducky was reunited with his favorite whiskey. All right, now we have to view you view friend stats. Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh! There's more than one friend that played this. Dumbass of Dojima. Looks like a three piece. It's a three piece. Great friends. Actually, it doesn't have to be four. No. How many are there? How could one be 67-33, but the other one is 50-50? Some people didn't make the choice? I should be able to solve this. Next chapter. Is it going to show a trailer or what? Has to be six people. Hmm. Six people and it's exactly 50-50 and 100%. Damn. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. What do you think about this episode? Um, honestly, pretty good. It, it, not the most exciting start, but I feel like the writing quality is a lot stronger. Uh, I would say that overall, the writing quality is is on par with Life is Strange One. Maybe it's a little, even a little bit higher than it for how the dialogue is flowing and everything together. Um, definitely better than Life is Strange Two. Definitely better than Before the Storm. Uh, but like I said, not really all that exciting. I'm not like hell yeah, I want to see what happens next. Like, right now, it's kind of like, eh, you know? Like, whatever. Um, uh, I like Alex better than I thought I would, so I'm happy about that. Uh, a couple characters I like as well. Whereas in uh, in the other games, I barely liked anybody. But in here, I like Ryan, I like Gabe, I like Riley, I like Jed. Uh, I don't really like Ethan all that much. We barely saw anyone else, really. But um, there was no one I actively disliked, really. Uh, so, yeah, it seemed pretty good. Do, 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 like the gnome? Yeah, I like the gnome. I, I also like that uh, I feel like I didn't I didn't rush through it. I, I looked at everything and we were still done in under four hours. Feels good, man. Fe feels true colors. Do, 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 do. It's fun to have the chat thing. What about Steph? Eh, Steph's kind of annoying, actually. Yeah, okay. Is it going to show me a trailer if I say next chapter? Nope. 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 Back up. Nope. 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 
And you should probably I like to do like one episode per stream. I don't want to like end in the middle of an episode. That's kind of that's kind of shit. And we don't have time to do two, to do two. But today we don't have time to do two. Tomorrow we might have time to do two. I don't know. All chapters came out at once this time. Oh, did it really? That's cool. No recaps, no trailers, no gods, no masters. Nice. Like I guess I'm feeling a bit sick today. I'm feeling better now than I was feeling better th now than I was at the beginning of the stream, but um, I don't really want to push it today. Sorry. So we might go for instead of going for five hours, we might do a little bit of a short stream. But I can hang out for 15 minutes and we can talk if you guys want. Brother survived. Um, no, I think he used that for sure. So we're we're gonna be angry at the at the mining company now, even though they clearly told us that they were gonna be doing that explodey thing, and we have to go out there to save Ethan. Like, I mean, they clearly announced it. Unless they did it wrong, did they do it early? They sounded a siren. I mean, they could have sounded the siren a little bit before. You know, oh, sound the siren. All right, we did it. Like th two seconds later, brrr, it's is a fucking explosion. Like. Gabe called and said they postponed. Oh, did they really? Oh, okay. Still, though, it seems kind of unrealistic that the siren would go off and the explosion would happen within two seconds. I don't remember him saying that. I'm glad uh, my boy Ryan had nothing to do with it. You're busy blarping about an RPG to notice. Oh, was I okay? What does play stuff story do? It probably means we play stuff story, which is um gonna be. Uh, wavelengths today. It's probably just like how how Steph got here from uh, from Blackwell Academy. Uh, true colors, Steph's story. <sighs> Chart the life of fan favorite D and D lover Steph while on the road with her bandmate Izzy. So people really love uh, love stuff. Apparently, she's a fan favorite. She's gonna be the uh, the the protag of the next game. So like this game's gonna be pretty fucking miserable then if it's like if Gabe's dead. He's got to be in the hospital. Like Gabe dies, and there's like four more episodes, and she's gonna be like you know going larping and fucking doing the jukebox game again and fucking carpool karaoke and. Oh, I'm an empath, but that means I can't feel my own feeling. Like, he was pretty nice too. I liked him. When you say these games work so much better when they're focused on a small group of characters and the developing relationships instead of a scatter shot, let's shove like a billion characters that don't matter approaching life is strange too. Yeah, but they were trying to tell a different story in uh, in that game. Um, I think that. It just suits the medium better to have more time to settle into a place in the same characters. It's hard to to do a story-based game like a movie where you're just going to from scene to scene with lots and lots of guest star characters. Honestly, and maybe this is maybe this is going to be too hot of a take for some people, but I would say even Death Stranding suffers from it a little bit. The fact that Death Stranding has its own kind of chapters with its own guest star character means that you spend more time with them, I think, and they're a little bit more interesting, but even then, you don't have as much interplay with them as you probably should. Um, it's kind of similar to how you judge the villains in uh, in the Metal Gear Solid series, actually. Each one has its own, like, the chapter has its own kind of villain that you have to deal with and, and talk to. Whereas in Death Stranding, it's they're not villains, they're just, they're your friend and they have some story. What would you say is the best choice-based game you've played so far? Uh, if Disco Elysium counts as a choice-based game, definitely Disco Elysium. Um, if it's one of these games, uh, probably Detroit Become Human is the best one. 
It'd probably be between that Life is Strange one and Until Dawn. I liked Until Dawn. Didn't love it, but I liked Until Dawn. It was it was uh, campy and kind of fun. Uh, Detroit Become Human, I think, lets you have as many choices and branching paths that kind of justifies it as a choice-based game, whereas Life is Strange is kind of like, eh, you're not really doing all that much. Um, if we're, you know, expanding that over to The Witcher for how well, how far you can take it, Witcher 2 is is the extreme. You you can do so much in Witcher 2. Uh, Witcher 1 is pretty fun about it too. Witcher 3 is not. Witcher 3 choices are not that great. Do you think you'll play The Quarry? Probably. What about 999? 999 doesn't have choices, does it? Mention you play like to play a Groundhog Day game. I strongly recommend The Forgotten City. Oh, Wuggy recommended The Forgotten City to me. Yeah, I like to play that. I don't think 99 counts, but for me to say why would be spoilers. Have you played Dishonored 2? I have not played Dishonored 2, no. I'm not sure if we'll stream that. That could be a fun stream if I just fuck around with it a bit. But I don't know if I would finish it on stream. Maybe we'll do like two streams of it and that's it. If you do play Forgotten City, please stream it. Would it make a good stream game? I don't know. Why, why did they add a Marv scream into the game? Marv scream? I didn't hear a Marv scream. What's a Marv scream? Marv scream D's. Have you played the sexy Brutale? Or is it Brutale? I have not, no. Excuse me. Are there any games you think you'd struggle with objectively reviewing because of nostalgia? No, I'd, I'd struggle with objectively reviewing games because you can't objectively review games. That, that would be the main, main struggle f f for that one, yeah, for sure. Um, if you're talking about, like, I would be, like, way more subjective than usual about, uh, about some of the games, then yeah, I think stuff like Chrono Trigger. Uh, I, Secret of Evermore has the soft spot in my heart, so it would be hard to judge that one. Um... Some of the stream games that, that I've really enjoyed because of this, the stream would probably get a pass on some things. I don't know. I find that if I if I'm lukewarm on a game, as time passes in my like it'll grow fonder in my memory and I'll like it a little bit more as time goes on. Uh, if I hate a game, then it'll just stay around the same. And if I love a game, I think maybe it comes down a little bit. Not sure. Play Ultra Kill. Apparently it's not all the way out yet, so we're going to wait for it to all be out. What is the platonic ideal of a video game? I don't understand the question, sorry. Will you play 13 Sentinels after True Colors? Eventually, yep. At some point after True Colors. So does that mean you love Xenoblade 2? No, fuck no. It's a funny game, though. Are you going to play Darkest Dungeon 2? Probably not. I will almost certainly not be making a video on it, though. I, I like. I don't think that game is for me. If I make a cake out of 49% edible ingredients and 51 inedible stuff, and you get sick from eating it, would that still be food poisoning? Yeah, of course. Because you presented something as food, and you put a bunch of stuff in it that was that was bad. You ever played Ghost of Sumigi? I have not, no. What if I tell you this plank of wood is food? Are you disguising it so I would reasonably think that it is food? Might just be regular poisoning? Yeah, maybe it is just regular poisoning. Hmm. So the poisoning is in the intent. So poisoning is that... You have purposefully put something in that's poison it that, that's poisonous. But if it's just like the food has gone bad and it is now poisonous, then it's food poisoning. So the poison is in the is in the intent. Okay. So I guess it's not food poisoning, it's just poisoning. Have you seen some clips from High on Life? If yes, what do you think about 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 humor? Humor is very subjective. Um, I think it looks cringe as fuck and very tiring. And uh, I still like Rick and Morty, although I have not seen the last three seasons or four seasons. I don't even know how many seasons it's up to now. I haven't seen Rick and Morty in years. Um, but when I did watch it, I still found it funny. Uh, I still prefer the first two seasons, I think. Um, I don't know. It looked kind of obnoxious. The thing about High on Life, 
that is the right game, right? Um, the thing about Highland Life that I don't understand is that, like, that looks like it costs, like, at least a couple million to make. And I don't understand where, who, who foot the bill for that game. Like, that ain't no, like, game jam spun out into, like, a, a fun indie track. Like, that game looks expensive, man. And it's, like, based on a joke. It's on Game Pass. I don't have Game Pass. I don't have an Xbox. Do you have the Detroit VODs? I have all the VODs. They're all on my other computer. One day they will go up. One day you're going to wake up and there's going to be like a hundred fucking uploads on the second channel. And it will just kill that channel for the algorithm. But it's just a, a stream repository, so who gives a shit? You can get Game Pass on PC? Now you can't. I'm a game critic. I would know that. And because I don't know it, it's not true. Have you played Citizen Sleeper? I have played Citizen Sleeper. Not only did I play it, I beat it. Uh, it was interesting. It was uh, a little too short for me, and parts of it got a little dull, but uh, overall I found it quite interesting. Have you played Riddle School? I have never heard of Riddle School. Have you played the Vampire Survivors DLC? I have not played Vampire Survivors in about four months, I think. Have you heard of No More Heroes? I have, yes. Doesn't look like my thing. But if you guys make me play it, I will. Have you seen Tom Cardi's new album? I haven't, but I, I've listened to pretty much all the songs that he's put on YouTube. Have you played Paradise Killer? I have not, but it's been recommended a couple times. Have you played Orc Massage? No. I have a feeling I know what genre that game is. What's the next stream after True Colors? Uh, don't know. Have you played The Looker? Nope. Have you played Pentiment? I have not, no. Looks kind of boring. But maybe it's good. I didn't want to play Disco Elysium either, and now it's like one of my favorite games. Slime Rancher? I have not played Slime Rancher, no. What do you think of the dice as a mechanic in games like Disco Elysium and Citizen Sleeper? Um, in Disco Elysium, it's probably the biggest flaw in the game. It feels kind of like, eh, it's just like an, just a way to give it like that, that tabletop feel. And also you don't always know exactly what's going to happen, but sometimes it could feel kind of shit that you're just beholden to the dice and who knows what's going to happen, but you could just roll with it. Um, no pun intended. Citizen Sleeper felt like after, I don't know how long. But it was pretty early into the game. I felt like it didn't matter anymore. I recently watched um, Jacob Geller's uh, video like review of the whole year. And uh, I, the biggest thing I disagreed with him in, in his uh, in his Life Talk Games of the Year was when he spoke about Citizen Sleeper and said that he, um, he thought that it was... Maybe he didn't say that. Maybe I read it somewhere else. If it wasn't him, then I apologize. But he said something like it was always scraping by barely hanging on and it was like had to make a lot of really hard decisions in order to like to to, to base my survival and that you know I had, to, I had to miss out on some things in order to just make it to the next day and that was not my experience whatsoever when i played citizen sleeper like that game was real fucking easy to just like have pretty much infinite resources and the dice rolls didn't matter after like i don't know like two weeks of in-game time or something like that. Like that was not my experience whatsoever. So maybe he picked a different starting class or maybe he got unlucky. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was not my experience. Really? I thought you may disagree with Jacob the most on God of War Ragnarok. Mm, I could see where he's come from. He wasn't very specific about the parts that he was talking about, so I could agree with him on some parts of it. Like, I really enjoyed the uh, the father son stuff in uh, in Ragnarok, and I thought that was really good. Everything else was dog shit. <laughs> well, everything else in the story was dog shit. Well, one subplot was good. The dwarves. 
Disco Elysium is fully voice acted now. Any plans to replay it? Stream it again, so all all of it get copyright strike struck again. Fun. Uh, no plans, but maybe one day. Will you stream Chaos Game one day? Yes, that should be fun. Gonna play Persona 3 and Persona 5 Striker someday. Uh, we Persona 3 is definitely on the docket. I don't know. Well, I do know actually. Um, eventually, we're gonna play Persona 3, and then sometime after that, we're gonna play Persona 5 Ro Royal, and then sometime after that, we're gonna play Strikers. And then by then, Persona 6 will be right around the corner, and we'll play Persona 6. Someone just said something about Paradise Killer and the gameplay in those games, and I definitely agree with, with Citizen Sleeper, yeah. Citizen Sleeper made me, and this is going to sound like an insult, and I don't mean it that way, because I did enjoy my time with Citizen Sleeper. It was, a, it was a very enthralling experience. The one thing I do, well, not the one thing, I agree with a bunch of stuff that Jacob said, Jacob Geller said on, on, the, on the game, uh, but the big thing I agree with him is that it was enthralling enough that I, I just wanted to play it all in one sitting. Um, I did not play it all in one sitting, um, because I had to get called away, but I would have if I, if I, if I could have. Um, I actually left it running one upstairs, and when I came when I came back, I was gone for so long, and the game prevented my monitor from going to standby mode. That when I tabbed out to Discord, um, I could see all of the UI streaking across the screen. Um, thankfully, the monitor is like they they can correct that now with burn in, um, and it went away. But I was like freaked out because I didn't I wasn't I wasn't for sure. I didn't know for sure. So it was just like I could just see all the UI elements just like all over my screen for for like for I don't know like an hour and a half afterwards. Um, Anyway, uh, it is very enthralling, but um, but like yeah. So despite like really enjoying it, uh, what Citizen Sleeper really made me wish for was just like a a game that was like it but better. Just like like you can actually walk around the station yourself. That I don't know, just a slice of life space station game. That sounds fucking great. Um, but not like uh, that game where you're. Um Diaries of Robo Port Janitor or whatever. I mean, like, like a game where it's like you have a lot of different interpersonal relationships, and you might have to get a job, and you might have to like, there's like stuff going on in the space station, and there aren't really like high stakes. Like, oh my God, someone is trying to take over the universe. It's just like, no, like try and survive on the space station, and maybe get involved in some drama and some like conflict between different parties and factions. Like, I think that would be a really fun, uh, a fun, a fun game, um, and you can actually like see what the space, what life on the space station is like. Kind of like prey, but you know, before it goes to shit and trying to survive, but and slightly bigger too. I think that would be fun. Is Paper Mario the Thousand Year Draw on the docket? Yep, that's one of the voted games that's going to be played at some point. I don't know how we're going to play it. I have it. I've had it for a long time. Um, I've never played it, but I, I have a, 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 a copy of it. Uh, I don't think I can stream my GameCube though, or the Wii, so I might have to. Uh, well, you know. We'll see. Have you played Anno 1800? I did for a little bit. I didn't really like it all that much. It was kind of boring. Maybe I just wasn't in the mood for it. I have to be in the mood for those kind of games. Or maybe I just don't like those games kind of anymore. I've tried recently to get into those kind of games again. Um, well, not to get into them. I'm not talking properly today. I'm sorry. Uh, in the past year, year and a half, I've tried to play some city builders and kind of chill out games. And usually I play them for like maybe an hour or two. And then I'm just kind of like, I'm bored. It's like sometimes I get into these moods where I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to play a high action demanding game. I want to play a chill out game. And then I play the chill out game and I'm like, I really wish I had more to do and more was being demanded of me right now. And then I go and play the demanding game and I'm like, I really wish I was playing a chill out game. <laughs> You know, just flip it to the, I don't know. Maybe that just means I just shouldn't be playing a game. Maybe it should just be like, like reading a book or something. I don't know. Like, hey Yoshi. I think that's why I like Vampire Survivors. It was a good middle ground. It's like, okay, there's not much to this, but I still have to do something. What do you think about racist characters in games? I feel like they are under underused and badly written most of the time um that's not really a topic i want to touch on again after life is strange 2 i do agree yeah uh
I think maybe video games are in a position to be quite an effective teaching delivery system of what it's like to experience prejudice because you can play as a character and if it's done well you might actually get something close to feeling what it's like to be unfairly judged for something and being presumed that you're going to do something when that's not true um obviously it's not going to be like like a complete supplement for that nowhere near it but i feel like video games could in theory pull that off better than than uh than movies and and uh books because you are inhabiting that that world and that character and it, it might actually feel on some level that you are the one that is being a victim of it uh instead of just seeing it play out and i can't really think of a game that has done that this is dumb i don't think it's dumb what's dumb about it this dude is asking for representation for racists uh i don't think he is no well-written racists okay <sighs> do you sleep with socks on or off off chat is so bad faith sometimes yeah it's a it's a problem online like let's not get into it actually i don't want to do that today maybe one day we'll have that talk How far did you get in Monster Hunter World and Main Web? I beat the whole main campaign and I did it with the Insect Glaive. Have you played Kingdom Come Deliverance? I have not, no. Joe, do you like pizza? Of course I like pizza. I like Putin better though. Possibility playing one of the old Fire Emblem games before Three Hooses? No, Three Hooses Three Hooses is coming first. Sorry. If I like Three Hooses, then maybe we'll play some of the others. But that is absolutely coming first. I feel like a lot of games misunderstand, take control away from you, and to discuss said serious topics instead of providing interesting gameplay that encompasses them. Yeah, I think maybe some game developers are afraid to touch it though, and I don't blame them. Like, as we, as I, the topic that we almost broached in chat, the, the way that people react to certain things can sometimes be very uh, knee jerky um, and very like looking for the looking for a way to grandstand. And I think that's understandable for some people, but it's not exactly healthy, um, especially when it comes to developers potentially being scared to explore certain topics. Um, I'm pretty sure there is something that an example of that we could find in games that I've encountered somewhat recently where people just took it the complete wrong way and it was supposed to be it was supposed to be like educational for lack of a better word but I can't think of it instead people took it as like problematic streams for Breath of the Wild 2 and release ooh that's a hard one man I was thinking about that last week I don't know if I want to do that that's a really hard one because like Breath of the Wild 2 is is, is like you just kind of sink into it and just wander around and just like follow where you want to go, right? If it's anything like Breath of the Wild 1. And that would be probably boring to watch because I would just be like, I would want to fill in the space and I would just want to talk to chat all the time and I feel like I wouldn't be able to get lost in the world as, as well as I need to. So I don't think I am going to stream Breath of the Wild 2. I don't think I'm going to do it. But um, I don't know. I don't know. Just turn chat off and chill. Ah. Nah, I don't think so. I would still want to talk. Even when we played like Outer Wilds, I would I would still talk and everything, right? And Outer Wilds is a lot more focused than Breath of the Wild, like just go wherever you want. Do you prefer coffee or tea? Honestly, that's hard for me now. I prefer the effect of coffee. It doesn't strongly work on me, but it works on me a little bit. I prefer tea with like a cookie or something. But I think I'm a coffee person now. Well, mocha. I don't drink coffee. I put Nesquik in my coffee because I'm an adult. Same joke. Do you think you'll go back and play Xenoblade 1? Maybe one day. If I do, I'll stream it though. I'm not playing that on my own time. I'm getting paid to, to play that. <laughs> have you played Dwarf Fortress or have any interest on playing it? I have played a lot of Dwarf Fortress about 10 years ago or so. I was really into that scene. Um, around, I got into it around the time maybe like a couple of months or a year before they added 
uh, the huge increase in Z levels. Like when I first played it, you could only go down, I think like 12 Z levels or something, somewhere around there. And then a couple months to a year later, they added where you could go down like 250 and they added all the caverns or whatever. And I played it around that time. And then I played it again, like I think a year or two after that for a little bit. And I haven't played it since. So I've been playing, I, I played Dwarf Fortress a, a long time ago and um, I haven't gone back to it yet. Did you play Cataclysm and other AC games for Mega Nerds? I have not, but Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead looks like my jam. It just kind of also visually looks like ass, and I'm not sure if I could get in, in, into it. A game like Cataclysm... So here, here's my dream game, all right? Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead kind of theme and setting with kind of don't starvey gameplay with Breath of the Wild perspective. Like, that sort of spread of those three together would be, like, a dream game for me. And I understand that's asking for a lot. That would be a hard game to make. But I would fucking... I would be all over a game like that. Do you eat ass? Go ask your mom. Thoughts on roguelikes? And no, I don't mean roguelites. I am one of those people. Well, if you're one of those people, I'm not answering the question. Come back when you've lowered your standards. Favorite season of the year? In Moncton, winter, because I hate the city, and I feel like the city shuts down in winter, and also it looks nice because the snow is covering all the all of the, you know, the mange. Um, in general, though, I would, like, in any other place, I'd probably pick fall. I like fall. But it's between fall and winter for sure. Summer is my least favorite. Have you played Catherine? Not only have I played it, I streamed it. Uh, that one's on YouTube, isn't it? I like roguelikes, by the way. Um, I don't know if I have any deep thoughts on them. The game uh, I'm making with uh, with Seraph and Wuggy was almost a roguelike. But we decided against it. Have you pooped in the shower? No. Who has? Someone has. Someone has. Thoughts on Hades? A little overrated, to be honest, but uh, pretty good. Most impressive thing about Hades, I think, is how many different uh, lines of dialogue there are that are voiced from all the different characters. Flow of the game is, is decent. It's just a little too messy compared to Gungeon for me. Uh, does it take longer to write a script or collect footage in editing the video? Depends on the video. Uh, it really, really depends. It could go either way. Generally, though, as a general rule, um, putting the video together in video editing is the longest time. After that, I'm going to say writing the script, then playing the game. However, if the game is like a huge open world game, and the video is like only an hour long, writing the script could take less time than playing the game. Um, then recording the the audio and editing the audio. In generally in general, that's the uh, the order of, of how much time each of them take. What's the mechanic you like to see more in games? Hmm, I don't know. Usually I just see more creative movement. I, I like to have something to do. Like, in World of Warcraft, when you're a Night Elf or a Blood Elf and you have that little j twirl, random chance to do a roll or a twirl in the air, like, s shit like that is just, like, just catnip to me. Like, I, I love having a little bit of just interaction as I'm basically moving around. Um, that's why, like, getting over it is, is actually pretty fun once you get into it uh, with how you can learn how to finesse that character. Uh, there was uh, another game that was like that. Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds uh, has a little jetpack ability and you can fly a little faster and you can learn throughout the whole course of the game how to how to use gravity on each different planet and uh, and how to get around faster while also maintaining your fuel um, without touching the ground. Like, what's the best way to move? Like, you can get pretty good at it and it's not just mindless, like, hold forward. Uh, things like that. I, I always want to have uh, something to do as I'm as I'm moving around. 
but it can go a little too far i think if you have to do a lot of a lot of crazy shit i don't like it anything above the um the hook 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 shot system in uh subnautica i think at that point you're like you're asking me to do a lot of stuff and if the game isn't built around it then no thank you that's a little too much for me what was the other game that had a really good a uh, fun hook hook shot i think it was like a there was like a, a james bond game that had a really fun one Would you consider stream pen, pen, Pentiment or any sufficiently requested game, even though it's not on the video game list, or would have to wait? Um, most of them are probably going to have to wait. We'll see. I might not do all the voted games completely in that order. There might be one slip between it. I'll probably slip inscription somewhere between it, because I want to play that. Have you played Rain World? I have played Rain World. I played it for one session. I didn't like it. I stopped playing it. I would like to give it another chance someday. A lot of people ask about Rain World. I don't know why. big rain world dlc is coming this month is it really i didn't know that game was getting dlc why did you choose not to make a Sekiro video go ask Geralt. i think he'll know anyway i'm out of here see you later chat i'll see you tomorrow episode two of life is strange true colors i think we'll try and do two episodes tomorrow if they're this this length i'll try and power through and do two so it's not like super short streams but we'll see how i'm feeling and see when we get started hopefully i get some sleep tonight See you later, everybody.